optimal double max mode combo uh, yeah. where he can juggle you hit you with forward be in the air go into max mode and get more damage but here we go we have dinosaur versus model oh no that's a big win yeah, huge whip, but not too much of capitalization. Wow, just challenging the lead command grab there. This time, finally gets the bite on deck, slowly pushing Demon of the Mist to the corner. Yeah, Demon of the Mist gets with the command throw, though. Very good. Not going to put Dinosaur in the corner, unfortunately. Try to go for it again. You got to be careful. Lots of recovery on that Shermie whip. And Demon of the Mist, or excuse me, Mikey is putting in the work here. We do see that the names are backwards. Shall we get that pick? And here oh, we yeah, go, nice straight turn. into level one. That was old school. That was some 98 stuff right there. Just light kick super. <laughs> we take those. Oh, but what a please. trade. Oh, <laughs> too far. Tried to hug nobody home. Keep your presence to yourself, sir. That was kind of scary, not going to lie. Mm -hmm. All right. Is, are we going to see a down, uh, dash punch on round start? No, okay. It's coming. One of these rounds, you will see. It. It's a meet and cool player. They can't help themselves. Of course, that is his special. But going for the EX Fireball, following up with the Dash Punch afterwards. Instead, Mikey's going to be put in the corner, but there's a nice reversal. Gets the side swap, too. That's huge. Yeah. Missing the finisher there. We are going to land a command throw. Does Demon of the Mist. Trying to play as patient as possible, but never mind. Sweeping the legs. And that's right under that 47 uh, second threshold. So he's going to get a little bit under 300, but should still be close to perfect. And it is a perfect. What am I saying? This game is so generous. And here comes Mr. Howard now ready to tuck this child in. But he's got something different inside those pillows, all right? Yeah, what's in there, man? It's got to be like, like rocks. Bars of soap, bro, for <laughs> sure. They never have bruises on them, you see? True. I see full metal jacket. Oh, what a cross-up. Yeah, no finish. But that Stan CD, such a big button right there. Gotta watch those rolls getting punished, but fortunately enough for Demon of the Mist, not a bad one. Ooh, Mikey just playing solid right now, spacing him out. He's being so incredibly active too, right, that it's pretty difficult for Demon of the Mist to really get anything started because he's walking into buttons and into fireballs as well. Nice bait, yeah, fadeaway shot, baiting out the DXVP, but it doesn't even matter, and I like that spin the meter, even though he had a drop, just make sure you get the kill. I see you, your old dad. Hope you're doing well. Here we go, jumping into anchor. Yashiro with nearly five bars on deck. Let's see how optimal we can get. Bro, oh, he got the close D, but did not finish. That could have been some massive damage there. And another cross-up jump B from Mikey. Sneaking the overhead. Rolling straight through, but is gonna get caught there. Nice with the crouching lights. Tries to go for something fancy by whipping the overhead or the, the hop CD, but it doesn't work out. Ooh. No, tries to shatter strike out. Good confirm off the fireball. And as we're seeing there, man, in, in classic Meeting Kun fashion, usually the problem child literally on everyone's team who plays him. Yeah, I mean, he, he's such an underrepresented character, but when he does come out, he is terrifying. I'm honestly shocked mm -hmm. that he's not more popular than he currently is, just how solid his toolkit is all around. I have to wonder maybe if it's only the fact that he's a charge character, right? Because a lot of people, they don't they don't really want to play charge characters. They feel more gravitated towards, you know, just the regular inputs and things like that. For sure. That and he's not, like, edgy, right? He, he doesn't have the edge to him. You know, people just want to play their... their uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, I mean, Shadow the Hedgehog has characters in this game, but here we or, go. Or they're cute girls. Oh, true. It's only, it's only two archetypes, that's it, right? Dinosaur follows in uh, the cute girl one, but here we go. We're getting claws right now. Claws for days. He could be a cute girl. You don't know what's under that mask. That's true. Oh, there we go, oh. getting the hop, and that is a perfect for Dinosaur. Mm. Yeah, complete turnaround of the first game. I think that's honestly the first time I've ever seen Dinosaur get seven no, golden letters. <laughs> hey, look, the Ice Age ain't coming through this time, right? But let's see. Geese might be able to do that. He do kind of look like Arnold in uh, Batman as well. So, you know. Uh-oh, mm. here we go. Slam it right on through. Perfect is gone. Thanks to still taking some damage from that armor point. But what a pickup, too, with that OTG claw swipe. Bro. Dinosaur is just running wild right now, but finally gets put into the corner. Demon trying to get something started, but a perfect guard cancel roll. Mm, dunk on a head, a little bit of health left. Not really a perfect, but I mean, damn near close to it if we get another hit. Oh, nice one up, close C. And the full max mode. Oh, unfortunate drop. 
Yeah, and it's just Mikey was mashing during that entire combo and said, come on, if you drop this, we're trading. <laughs> oh yeah, not a bad idea. Look at where we got him. Back down to Yashiro yet again, but it's not looking as good as it did last time. Yeah, there's a beautiful neutral hop. But still, unable to really get... It's a lot of drops and just missed opportunities, right? Where we're getting the confirms, but we're not extending them any further. Nice pickup from Mikey. Dropping a follow-up from the back A, but still keeps the corner. First Justice Hurricane of the set. And the empty low. That is so hard to do in this game. With all the good wake-up mash throw is. And this should be it. Yeah, because we eat off the ground too, yeah? Yeah, yeah. five-second rule, baby. There it is, Mikey letting the sun out here to get rid of the mist. Demon of the Mist is sent down to the loser side of the bracket. What a performance there by King of Dinosaurs, a King OCV. We'd be seeing him as a counterpick to Kyo more often. Nice color too, I like it. Here we go. Oh, and we got that 96, baby. Arashino saxophone too. Nice trip on the legs with the 3D, but Palms immediately out and DP's out just as well. Oh, trust the 2C. Nobody home. Looks like we're just going to be fishing for stuff up until that point. Yep, we get the clean jump and another DP from Chocobo. Oh, but the empty jump there, staying a little safe. What do you got? Nice rolls through. That's a, a really good option there. Perfect. Yeah, trying to keep Chocobo locked to the corner, but even after escaping, has to lose a little bit of life to get out, and it's going to get sent straight to the other one. Not quite dead for him, but you got to watch out for the chip damage. Runs right into it, though. Immediately losing to go. He stepped all on his shoes. You saw that? And they white, too? You grimy for that, bro. <laughs> Left the whole footprint. Ready? Violent fighting has come again. It's my jam. Bro, let's see right now if Markio can keep the jam going. Let's see if he can keep his style. He has the corner pressure right now. Oh, nice. Well connected DP there to escape the corner pressure. That's that's not easy to use too as a DP because it's so skinny, right? Like the fact that he was able to connect it. In the classic is Gato DP into lose, right? That's what we saw a lot mm -hmm. in the past. But here we go, jumping to the other side, getting a huge punish on that whiff standing CD. Ooh, 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 what a cross up! That was sick. He didn't follow up, but that was really, really cool. Only a little perplexed here, not sure how to deal with Gato. Nice confirm into the EX Rumble. Chesto! Yeah, immediately back up there trying to bait out some kind of a reversal option. I almost feel like Choco's just not being crazy enough with the movement here with Yuri, right? That's one of her strongest aspects is just how fast she can move across the screen while putting out fireballs and putting out buttons. But it's playing a much more reserved version of it, which kind of is allowing Markyo to gain more ground. Yeah, that is exactly what's happening. Markyo's taking full advantage of it. You know, you want to be a little patient? That's fine. I'll just go up. I like the hesitation. Try to go for a throw. And the use of the jump C as well. It's a trade. Choco's oh. still stuck in the corner. Beautiful. I wonder if they could have time for a run-up C. But, you know, can't think about all the bait. God, so, so many tricks in the back. Oh, you're wild, sir. You are going too crazy. Rock with the stop sign punch right there told you bro it's the gato classic dp into death mm -hmm. hi, 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 hi. all right here comes marco's yuri see if he oh god the hitbox on that yeah and the run up dp goes to the empty jump here just trying to stay safe immediately with the azuna drop catching choco out of the sky no way why is that so active Wow, Markyo is just doing such a good job dissecting all of Chocobo's options right there. Wow. And a run-up slap for the victory. Yeah, and that was a much more aggressive and hyper Yuri, right? And I feel like that really fits her as a character. It's just kind of being all over the place, being super slippery and hard to catch. You kind of want to play her in almost a similar way that you play Athena. Yeah, you could say that. I, you know, I definitely would agree. Um, a little bit more emphasis on her jump normals, though, mm -hmm. as opposed to Athena's. But, like, her fireball, especially the fully charged one, it's, like, the best fireball in the game. It eats through EXs. It eats through, um, you know, more durable fireballs like Geese's uh, heavy fireball and so on and so forth. Um, but, yeah, just using them long limbs. But here we go. Game two. Oh, we are getting mixed. Bro, the length on that. 
Mark, you're getting ready for City of Wolves, man. You're getting that practice in. Yeah, this is some Gotho mastery that we're seeing right now. For how much Gotho has dropped off after his nerfs, Markio's making it look like it is the last version of the game. He's bringing Gato back. Oh, absolutely. He even brought back. Oh! oh! You're nasty with it, man. Bro, someone call the cops. Yo, That's seriously. an illegal maneuver. <laughs> Blew him up. Bro's moving like Oppenheimer, bro. Call it up. My man said, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Took the bait heavy. I was sick. Marco, you won't do that to me, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Tell him, man. I'm telling why he's playing. He can't hear me. Oh, there we go. Clean jumping right over the fireball. Throws out the DP too. Very late DP. Choco had already almost landed on the ground. Yeah. So he. So this style of play, like what you're seeing right now, is when a player is in full confidence, where like everything they do just works. Like look right there. Proper yep. time to guard cancel roll. That's like the first time Choco has done that uh, setup. Good match throw right there. Though. You're not taking that. It gets a charge fireball also. Able to catch the back roll, but in an awkward position, so doesn't get a confirm off of it. And now you see Markio, even though he's starting to take damage here against Gotham, he still is in control of the pace of the match, right? And that's the biggest thing. But this could swing the pendulum in Chocobo's favor. Yeah, we just need to get Gato out here without losing too much health. Well, more than we already did. Not going to be enough there. Oh, could have punished the roll. Okay, we do get the punish on the landing frames with the 2B. Yeah, it's all right. Still able to close it out without losing any more life. That is very key for Chocobo going into this next one. But now it's going to be the Yuri Mirror match. And Markio's coming in with a substantial meter lead, too. Oh, yeah, he's real, real good. No, too far. Dinosaur limbs not going to connect. A charge fireball just a little bit there. Being able to mix up your opponent, too, with how long you charge the fireball. So key. No, no iframes on the level one. I think the level two has some, but it's a certain point. Not uh, not the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a, a tragic situation there. Yeah. The correct answer would have been to do the Hawken super, uh, because that fireball would have blown up Yuri's. Uh, but, oh, okay. It is what it is. Dark Howard is back, and that move is so active. Why does her stand CD slap the sound waves? Oh, checked. Immediately into level one, Raging Storm. Like, trying to bait out these DPs like crazy. Yep, both players are not deep enough for that jump C to connect. Empty low yet again, and Mark. Oh, he's styling with it this time. Oh, ooh, what a reset. And actually landed, but didn't commit to the full sequence there. That was so unoptimal because it dropped. He had four bars and now, now has that one. <laughs> trying to style. No finish on the combo. Big unfortunate. This should be it right here, though. Oh, no. And just like that, Yuri is out of here. And Choco has one last opportunity. 24 seconds means we're not going to get a lot of health. Still going to be in the orange. How did this? That... It definitely is. Oh, it's real Sakazaki, though. You cannot trade at all. There's an EX spirit punches your way. You have to be super careful in how you fight this character. Oh, he tries exactly. to go for the straight run up throw. Yeah, you basically have to play a perfect game here. Let's see if Chuckle can pull it off. Gets the far C, but didn't believe. Yeah, no finish from Markio on the 2A as well. I do like the way Choco's moving. Oh, oh that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Got the cross up jump B. I like the way they started to move around in that last round. They just didn't have enough help to try to see it all the way through. Yeah, but that is going to be another 2 0 there for Markio. Moving on in the bracket. Again, 55 players in this bracket. The best of the best that you see every single week in TNS. The fact that he's just climbing the tier list. Every new tier list, it feels like he's higher and higher because people are really understanding this character has the sauce, he has the tools. He has it all, man. Literally every tool that you desire in a character, he has. And he is stacked. Some of the best buttons in the game, but you know what? Isla is right across from him. She is right next to him on the tail list. Some even put her higher, so. Yeah, she's definitely got that mix up potential, that explosive factor. But with that whip DP there, Leon is the one who is exploding into offense. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. Not a perfect, but might as well be. That was like only with 20 damage taken off. Mm. All right, Rio. Go. You just gonna let him do that? 
I'm gonna let him get away with that. Oh my god, the run up parry. A little too predictable there. He doesn't get any follow up. Oh my god! Puts himself into the corner, but that it's okay. We gotta fight out. Stays in front. Though Gore making some rather crazy characteristics here. Does get a DP. He is uh he is leaning on these DPs. He's letting Leon know early that I'm willing to let them rip. Yeah, but you can't let too many rip. Look at the health deficit already. Yeah, that was a good time to be patient. Nice punish. Yeah, the fireball was a little bit too close. OTG throw, and that's it. Now here we go. He's getting even more health back here. Trying to lock in an OCV. It's all up to Iori to bring things back. Damn, this would be a crazy first game for these two if this happens. I mean, it was all off of those whiff TPs, right? That's where Leon was really just able to punish in massive ways. Leon looking good, but Anchor Iori might have something to say about that. Five bars as well, too. You can definitely make it stink if you get a solid hit. Well, you will see that level three throws out the DP anyway. Still has not been deterred from letting them rip, even after we lost two characters for it. Hadley placed ones. <laughs> He's getting comboed right now, but he ate that crazy corner uh, like cross up thing. And he's gonna get the throw too. That was sneaky too. Getting some extra meter off the palm. Oh, and Shamse sneaking through with 20 big ones into the match. Arino, thank you so much for the support. This combo's for you. Oh, never mind. He dropped it. Mm -hmm. All right, Dogor gets the run-up throw, but at what cost we are at a big health deficit. Not going to be getting too much coming in. He's got a lot to do. Also, Shermie's about to pull up right now. Big Sherm, so I don't know, man. Big Sherm. Mm. We, we trade. trade. Delayed ah. Rekkas, I like it, but misses the OTG on the ground. There's the quick max confirm. And the level one, that should be it. Sherman's going to take it home here for Leon in game number one. Wow, Leon looking good. I recognize the tag, Team Ness, but I didn't recognize the player. So this is good to see. Dolgor is, uh, you know, ain't no slouch at all. So for someone to defeat them, even in a first game like this, is going to make things a lot more interesting. And doing it with Shermie. Happy to see that. Yeah, I did want to see the Athena. You know, not trying to jinx the player, but, you know, would like uh, to see some of that Athena come out. I just want to see more Shermie. <laughs> <laughs> Athena, who cares about <laughs> Athena? <laughs> Let's get our girl back on screen, all right? Let's see. Here we go. This is where things got rocky early on, right? The, the almost perfect on Isla. So you see Dolgar being a little bit more um, smart in his placements, right? And where he does things. Up until that point, of course, yep. commentator's curse. One clean hop B, right? It's all it takes. I like trying to go for the jump there, right? You realize you didn't cross under, so just trying to be a little bit tricky. Elder Gore was waiting. There's the run up. Close C confirmed. Gets a lot of damage off of that. Into the reset. But nice block there from Leon. Nice counter hit confirmed. Goes for the tech on the throw. No, oh, the, the stand C just listen. Gonna get a full combo from that. Oh, nice. cross cut DP blowing up the cross up attempt there. This time, Le uh, excuse me, this time Eldo Gore is starting off on the front foot. Oh yeah, made those adjustments. I mean, the way he smashed on rematch so fast, I knew he was thinking about something. Oh, but there's that big jump C, and that's it. The lady's elbow coming through with the cross up. She pulled out the iPhone 20, but you saw how big that joint is? <laughs> I saw, bro. She pulled out an iPad, bro. <laughs> Started talking on it. <laughs> but there's the trade. Still, Leon keeping the pressure up, able to score the grab. Roll down the cost of attempt this time. Good block. I thought she was for sure going on the other side. Bro. Elder Gore still, like, mostly playing defense throughout this set so far. Sergeant Pepper coming through with the offense. $10 straight into the match, Reno. Thank you so much. Mm, broke his back, make him humble. And a bad DP. And Leon again on a match point right here. I was sure we back in the lore. Uh, time travel shenanigans. Alternate universe shenanigans. Yeah, so uh, TLDR, the boss from KOF 14 encapsulated the spirits of all the dead fighters and then when they killed him it like brought everybody back it's something weird like that so that's why she's back now but we love to see her right now she is cooking gets a command throw on the yori and don't really 
really needs to find some hope right now. Oh, trying to go for that 2B into the quick max. Really, I mean, desperately trying to make anything count. Actually landed it, but already committed to the backdash. That is tragic and drops the super. There it is. Leon taking it 2-0. That last 10 seconds was just a series of unfortunate events. Got, like you said, got the EX over slash, but dropped the uh, the Rombo because he got backdash instead. And then at the end right there, I think he thought he saw counter hit on the 2C. So he tried to immediately go into, uh, into uh, super. About to be a hype set. Gold brain player one side. Violent King player two with the point Rio. Interesting yeah. pick. So lean, going back onto Rio now, I kind of like that. And it seems like K-Dash and Iori are the solid. So VK once again straying from Kyo, right? Starting to explore other territories. We saw him with Isla before, and now we're seeing him come in with Ryo once again. But I was about to say, GoBrain is putting hands on <laughs> yeah, He was getting locked down. He was getting hands, heals, cycle balls, everything. Still in a good position here is GoBrain. One more hit should do in the trade. That's standee. Still a magnificent button. Pretty fast. Has a good vertical range and goes over lows. Holy not a bad, not a bad button at all. Ready? But now it's time to bring in Mr. K Dash. Whoa, huge jump in there from Go Brain. Unfortunately, wasn't able to punish that he did desire, but still keeping the pressure up with Athena. And she is very much a knowledge check. And yes. check is what BK does do. Yep, that was a really good idea. That uh, B Phoenix Arrow is not safe for anything. So you can definitely mash throw. Oh, that was a good jump in. Should be a Never mind. Oh, yeah, unfortunate. But VK still in control here. EX minute spike going to blow straight through that fireball and going to tie things up in a big way now. Back to square one. Oh, yeah, taking it to the mids. There she is. Sylvie, anything but a mid. Very strong character in her own right. Try to anti air, but K Dash limbs too long. Pull back, but no, not able to punish there. Well, we do got a Shatter Strike. That was the right option. Puts her right back into the corner, but takes her out with the coast to coast combo. A little bit of health left on. Oh, that's going to be a dead Sylvie. Yeah, that was just a clean jump in there and a perfect there from VK. A true perfect on top of that. Now going into Go Brain's anchor character here. Isla coming in. Ready? Go! Yep, down to the wire. Isla can definitely make this comeback, but I do feel like K-Dash has the tools to deal with her. I mean, one thing that's so scary about K-Dash is just how explosive EX Slide is, right? Or EX Mini Strike. It, it's just how explosive it is coming out, catching you off guard, especially if you're playing a fireball-based character. Yeah, it just sneaks its way in there, right? And giving the guard point was like such a wild decision from SNK. Like, let's just sprinkle a little more toxicity in there. Right, he's just jumping out, not even want to deal with useless jump mix-ups. Violent Kane is like a place to take this one bar on him. Go brain. Oh, bad trade. Ooh, almost crossed himself up there. Trying to hop on in. Yeah, Violent Kane making it very, very hard for Go Brain to mount any type of offense here. Yeah, just look at the difference in the play style, too. VK constantly moving, putting out all these buttons, while Gobrain is trying to pick and choose these jumps, really just thinking about where the button presses are going to be. But that's the thing, is eventually one of those buttons from VK is going to hit. That was a really, really good last round there. I liked how VK turned his style from, like, just being aggressive with jump ins to then just starting doing, like, neutral jumps and back jump Ds. Just trying to catch Isla advancing to force a trade. Uh, to force her to be grounded to take the block. So, like, if anything happens, if they trade, he's still going to have an extra character. She's going to lose more health. Or, in that case, just playing very reserved. So, I did like the way he was moving there. That was really good. And I want to see if he can continue that pace going into this game. Absolutely. Very well said. But here we go now. Let's see what Athena is cooking. Oh, no. Oh, that was... A <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's run it right back, right? <laughs> Too small, gotta change up your uh, jumps on smaller characters. That's the firm up the two way. Oh, we gotta spend it all. Uh, uh, uh. Good. That was nice. Parry into the Tatsu, the faster option. Nice parry, trying to hop on in. 
clean jump in there. It looked like GoBrain ran up and immediately crouched to try and do some kind of an anti-air, but instead he is going to get blown up for it. Wow, Violent Kane with a quick turnaround in that first round. A man is seeing everything, playing that 4D chess right now, one step ahead. <laughs> DP connects again. I like that 2A just to check into the reset. It's funny because he definitely get a one for EX punches there too. <laughs> just, just to sneak in more damage. Oh, nice. That was really good. Yep, spend it all. Denji Beam, get him out of here. Yeah, I mean, I agree. You don't want to give DK any room to breathe here and stay alive with Ryo. He's already done so much damage. Mm -hmm. And I was literally about to say, you know, Sylvie hasn't done much in this entire set yet. And then just like that, got the whiff punish for C. So good decision from Goldbrain. Let's see if we can keep it going, though. We got three bars on K Dash right now. Runs up again. Nice cross up, but not deep enough for a confirm. Oh, try to get the plus frame started, but VK has a DP available, and you know he's the king of those DPs. He will let them rip. Yeah, he's definitely letting them out here. You know? Nice. Jumps right over the minute spike. Goldbring doing a good job. Has a uh, little bit more life. Up until that point, I'm not sure what happened. DK didn't take full advantage of the combo, though. The range on that jump in there from K Dash is absurd. Gets the EX minute spike again, but misses the pickup there with the EX fireball. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense how big it is. Oh, but that slide. Like you said, man, that minute spike be coming out of nowhere. Yeah, it really is just a jump scare, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta watch your legs. Oh, we got hands for them legs here. Extra pair and Amanda. Let's see if Goldbrain can put those hands to use. Didn't look so good last time. Oh, oh my God. You know what? We take the throw punish because it's damage, but we missed a bigger punish there. Let's see if Goldbrain can pick it up. Looks like they will be able to. Good stuff. And incredible here, taking it down to the wire. This is Gobrain's last opportunity to stay alive here in this set and keep his winner side bracket dreams alive. VK locked and ready though with four and a half bars. You know the moment we score that touch, it is fireworks. Yeah, all I see is fireworks. Oh no. And he got the extra three. Uh, uh, uh. Help. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going away to the corner. He's going to do the follow up. Yep. Yep. And EX <laughs> afterwards. Can you still get those EG? Oh, yeah. oh my <laughs> god, bro. Why would you ever play Ash? <laughs> the car cancel into it. Ooh, hold up. Goldbrain mm -hmm. was looking for something cute there. Yeah, VK just gonna run away. Yeah, Definitely no reason blame. to overextend at all, right? Just try and find one of those stray hits, force Goldbrain into a mistake while they're trying to pursue. <laughs> nice, just a taco. Precision on Violent Kane right there. What a sick game, man. Even though Gobray was making it closer, Violent Kane just seemed in control that entire time. Maybe with the uh oh he's playing the Yori on point. Never mind. Yeah, I'm uh I'm getting mixed up yeah, here. No, no on hell on point. Yeah. But Yori's got a ton of anti-zoning tools, uh anti-grappling tools, I should say, excuse me. Um and let's see if he can still put them to use here. Oh, this Roshi Yashiro color is fire though. Oh the yeah. Black is what you need is judgment day. It really yo, here we go. <laughs> yo, just get it in there. He, he kind of looks like the purple Magneto from Marvel. He does, you're right. Able to score that overhead there, but nice hop back straight into JB. Nice, no cancel there. You can tell Kane was definitely looking for it. Nice, empty record. He's gonna go for OTG. Yeah, score some more damage. Who cares about your save jump though? Staying on the same side, keeping that pressure up. So far, it's been very back and forth, but the back throw here from Kane is gonna put him in a really solid position. Dark King up against the ropes and now in danger of chip. He does not want to get hit. Good stuff there. Jump back D. Yeah, Cause that oh yeah, that old Yashiro damage has no idea what scaling is. So you don't want to get grabbed. And now here comes Rugal. Bro, Rugal is definitely Damian Priest. He's got like the same pop too. <laughs> He really do just got judgment day colors on. I can't believe it. <laughs> OD. 
Okay, right time to guard cancel. Good block. That was a deep taco there, but. Oh, clean hit. Gonna go straight into level one. God press right into the corner. God press. What a sick name for a move. All his names are sick. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're all good. Such a cool hair. All right, let's see if the unheld pick is gonna work out here. Oh, oh, that was oh. disgusting there. You saw him actually swap sides underneath two times, really mixing Kane up. Sick with it. Try to anti-air it. Angel's uh, 2C has to be activated a little faster. has a lot of startup on it. You do get the run throw, and oh, that was so smart. That is an unblockable attack. So the stuff from Dark King, knowing his character very well, and this should be dead on hell. Yep, absolutely. What's on hell wearing? Wrestling gear. She's mm -hmm. a professional wrestler. My man Rugal said, you could be my angel and I'll be your devil. Remember that meme? Devil? <laughs> <laughs> I could be your angle. Your angle. <laughs> oh, here we go. Two, three coming in now. The man with the sand. Trying to sandblast him. Wrong game. Nobody home. <laughs> no, it's the same character, bro. What you mean? <laughs> they both have that zoomer right here, for yeah, sure. I'm saying. Oh, but there we go. Buttons waking up a Dark King. Jumps to the other side and still gets caught by the 2B. Nice. Oh, the hesitation into the flip kick. That was cute. Good punish. Look how much time he has to punish that DB. And then there we go. Hit him with the pose. And now it's time for Clark to come on in. Big Papa Pump. No purple on him, so you know he's the leader. He's standing out. Oh, he's got it. It's just a, it's just a light shade of purple on that shirt. <laughs> faded. He washed that shirt a few times. <laughs> it's a the only shirt he owns, bro. <laughs> Give him a break. <laughs> oh, my God. It must hurt. You must get extra damage, right? Because when he throws you, it smells. Oh, bro. <laughs> extra damage on that. Right now, trying to get extra damage off that corner setup. Kane said, I want no parts of that, bro. Got right out of there. Yeah, you can't no, back yourself up too much. And yeah, you have to keep your distance with Kukri up against Clark. But what a call out there to see on the teleport. Letting the super rip immediately into the climax. Kuniku Busta! I know it's not, but I'm going to say it is. Ugh. Oh, he is not a safe worker. Dropped him right on his head. Yeah, that's brutal, bro. And there it is. The what are you doing? The boy. <laughs> boy. Hey, Jim Jam, boy. Crack shaped my hand. Clark unsafe? That's insane, man. Nobody wants to work with him. Bro, he's like, he's like New Jack in ECW. Clark literally giving you pointers in his win quote. Says, you had a chance to make a comeback, but I doubt you saw that. <laughs> That's crazy. Just a stand-up guy, all right? Hustle, loyalty, and respect. <laughs> Oh my god, I need Clark and like the some doctor crazy of food. hugonomics, bro. <laughs> I love it. Zoom. Here we go. Orochi Yashiro once again up against Iori in the point war. Iori Yagami. He's trying to fold Dark King like an origami. Oh my god, not, not with that trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if he can catch him first. Hits him with the overhead there, the palm to the head. And just slowly walking Kane to the corner. There's the German. Yep, it's Dark King time. Look at the guard gauge on Yuri throwing out the jump A because it's so active. Oh my god. It's time to guess. Yep. Best Oki in the game off of any super. Undeniable. Very much so. Oh, what a quick punish. Yeah. OTG, yeah, might as well get him out of here. Gorgeous stuff. Yori is down and still with 29 seconds left on the clock. Hiroshi Ashiro is going to look real healthy going into the second round. Yes, sir. The Judgment Day. What is it? What's the what's the term? Mommy's always on top. Well, Ash uh, Yashiro's looking like, looking like daddy right now. So I don't know. Down to Angel. Oh, very good. Uh, okay, you know what? We take those. Gets the reset off the uh, anti-air reset. Well, like a double reset there. Oh, just goes for the neutral hop there. Trying to get a low option. 
I like the guard cancel. You can't get your back push up to the wall. That's what Dark King is so proficient at, right? Just walking Kane to the corner. He's finally able to take down Orochi Yashiro. Going to get full health back for Angel as well. Mm -hmm. Very good look here for Kane. This is where things got rocky last time. Mega Mugao just able to keep her out. Yep, see, and that's probably the reason why he wants to run Angel second too. Not just for the Yashiro, but also for the Mugao matchup. Oh, that was an unfortunate cutter there. So much recovery on it. Kane was able to wake up and get the punish. Oh, what a chase Yeah, very good read. The double overhead doesn't convert. I didn't right. believe in it. First hit didn't connect. It was only the second one. But what a poke taking her all the way to the corner. That was max range. Good lord. So one up throw, choking you out. Guard cancels back. That might have been the, the bad option there from Kane, though. He's out of resources. Can't EX dash through. But you could use that right there. That was nice. Step right into another corner. Unfortunate position to be in with that meaty fireball. Look at that guard gauge, too. You got to be so careful. It's about to break. What a string from Dark King. King is ready to take his throne here against Kane. Down to Kane's last opportunity. It's all up to Mr. Sandman here. Yo, put him to sleep. Enter the Sandman. That's what I'm going to say. Sleep with one eye open. Rugal only got one eye, so he, he already got that part covered. Kane's not careful. He's going to be gripping his pillow tight here, all right? Keeping it close to him. Right now, nice jump C. Oh, that was a terrible roll from Kane. Yeah, it was a lot of health from that. Mm. It mm. keeps going. Mm. Wow, what a combo there. Tries to go for the empty jump low. But Kane wakes up with buttons. Is able to get the connection here. Level one with the pillar. It's enough to take down Rugal. A much needed victory because he just lost like 50% of his health off of that one bad roll right there. Yeah, unfortunately, most of it stuck too, meaning that Clark is trying to come on in and clean business up. I was scared there for a minute. Uh, I took a pause on one of those words, but it, we're not taking pauses here, baby. We're getting DDT, and this is looking like it could be over for Kane 4 9. Oh, nice 2B. Two, two but I'm trying to advance. Oh, oh. nice! Yeah, clean jump in. There we go. Still has to build up that meter, right? We can get one bar. Wow, tries to go for the EX to catch it, but instead he's going to get caught by this rolling death cradle. Oh, and you're in the corner. It's got to be curtains. Yeah, the right time. That was such a good guard cancel roll. Dark King is going to take that over Kane for nine, sending him to lose. Yeah, what a set there, too. Kane fighting to the bitter end. Nearly able to take it to a game number three, but it's going to be a good one here. A banger match. This, in any other week, could be grand finals. For sure. And it still could be, right? I mean, one of these players could advance and the other one could run it all the way back. So it's uh, not out of the question that we can't get that tonight. Very well could be, but we're going to have to see who comes out on top here. Yamazaki also rocking the Judgment Day colors. Everyone is just in purple in this game. It's everyone's Judgment Day. Bro, the purple colors are so good. <laughs> but let's be honest, though. The truth is he's rocking the white hair, all right? Because in KOF, if you got white hair, you get a power-up just like blonde people in Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is, right? And I feel like every, like, purple color has, like, a white hair palette to it. Or most of them do. Nice conversion from Lokov. Sneaks on in wow. with the B overhead. Yes, sir. Yeah, dominating first round there from Lokov. Able to take down Violent Kane's Kyo. You know, VK bringing in the Kyo now. That seems to be the character that he swaps out depending on the matchup, right? Whether we want Ryo or Isla. Mm-hmm. Because he's been rocking K-Dash and Yori, so yeah, I would definitely say you're right. And let's see if VK can be right and justified in his choice of characters right now, eating that command throw, taking him all the way to the corner, too. Good God. Nice, nice hot top. CD. Very clean, stopping short with the Rekka, too, trying to bait something out. Again, yep. Nice beast snake strike. Lokov willing to just play the lame game though. Doesn't need to overly commit. Has the health lead, has a character up. He is big chilling. 
remember the longer that clock goes on the less health the next character has coming in so definitely want to run the clock on your opponent try to force some bad movement out of them like that jump right there and you know one of the really solid parts about yamazaki's toolkit is he's able to do that play that run away game very proficiently but you can't run away from the shatter strike what a clean hit gets caught on the second low but vk wasn't ready to commit I do like that he went for the Shatter Strike here and was able to convert. Um, you know, he took his time with it, so good stuff. But still, let's some health back, Yamazaki Town. We're just spending meter. So, trying to make anything connect. Oh, yeah, not no. allowing the taco to come through. Says, thanks for the bar. Oh, no! <laughs> but look at the work he had to do. Spent the max mode and an additional Shatter Strike bar just to kill Lokov's point character. Bro really said, I'm a genius. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, immediate, immediate retraction there. Oh, we got the geese. And he might be least. Gets the 2D. Oh, look at that. Buttons. Player one needs a miracle. I'm saying. Bro, Max Power is brutal out here. Yeah, Max, uh, you've been talking a lot of trash, bro, but I don't see you on the sticks. I know. I've never seen him touch the controller in my life. Yeah. I've never seen him. <laughs> yeah, right. He's just an entity. All right, there's the fireball. Trying to hop on in again to keep the pressure up. Ooh. Next minute spike taking you all the way to the corner. BK really likes just throwing it out. I mean, it's it's 50 meter, right? If it connects, it's huge reward. For sure. Not a bad idea. Just a little profile, but he's going over ever so slightly. Shatter strike from low combo. He's got all the meter. He's dead. Yep. Raging Bro. Storm, that's gonna be it. Very that's the good. big daddy Raging Storm right there. This is just no, my man touched the health bars with that one. <laughs> so Lokov gonna take game number one. No martial arts can match my prowess. This is simply fact. Factual. He said no you can't lies detected, bro. Mm-hmm. He said this is not Twitter.com. There's no opinions, bro. This is facts. No discourse needed. <laughs> Round one. Ready? Go! Now here we go, jumping right on in. Wow, even Antar in with the beast snake strike. Look at the meter. So good. Yeah, this he's is, got a lot. Yeah, this is why I love Yamazaki on point. Every snake arm, all that meter just getting built up as time goes on. He's such a good battery. Man, I really need to play this character. Yeah. Look, because every time you throw a fireball, it ha the opponent has to block it for you to gain meter. He could just whiff snake arm. Mm hmm. A little bit of a brain fart right there. He got. Oh, wake up, super. And he's going to stomp too? Yep. So yeah, he he uh he got the counter hit, but he didn't want to commit to poison. And I don't blame him. Sometimes it'd be with him. And player two clinches the first round. Yo, Lokov putting on a show right now, just making Violent Kane really work against this Yamazaki. This has been like the common denominator in this entire set so far. Yeah, absolutely, one of his strongest characters. I mean, it's definitely Yamazaki and Geese, and that's why they are the shell, right? The third character can change depending on the matchup, depending on the day of the week. Hell, depending on the patch, right? I mean, he's played Yamazaki and Geese every version of the game that they've been out. So He's got so much uh, history and tenure with these characters, you can see it in his play. Oh, oh and too far away. That's why Snake Arm is so powerful. He's staying outside of the range of the Shatter Strike. You just have to hold it. Oh, man. This might be curtains. My man is getting poisoned. And there it is. Yamazaki. One more match away. One more round, I should say, from an OCV. Finally, Kane is down to K-Dash. Oh, man. It's going to be hard to do, Jobber. I mean, if anyone can do a VK cam, we have seen the miracle comebacks from him before, but you're right, Rome. It is not looking too promising at the moment with the way that Lokov is playing Yamazaki. He's just playing in the future. Like, I don't get it. Like, how do you know already? Did you watch TNS number 79? You just know the outcome? Like, it's wild right now. Look at that. Get a punish oh. on the Shatter Strike. Yeah. No answer to low snake arm at all. And the fear is, is if you try to hop over the low snake arm, then he's just going to do up snake arm and catch you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 
What a dominating performance. Lokov destroying Violent Kane with an OCV with the seal of approval. And that's going to secure him his ticket into top eight winner side. Yeah, and I see the chat too talking about the fact that Lokov is going to be traveling. With Thin Mints, just tossing people, bro. That, that's what they look like. We go right into it. Dark King keeping that Orochi Ashiro on point. This time, instead of going up against an anchor Isla, we have to go up against a point Isla in the form of Juan. Yeah, she's, she gets used on every single situation here. And it's not a bad idea to use her, right? She can definitely put the hurting on her opponents with her, uh, or just a really annoying button to like annoyingly save strings when they don't have resources. Yeah, for sure. I feel like in the current meta, oh, that was a pretty nasty double cross under. Juan's still going to get caught, though, straight into this level one. But I feel like the current meta of this game, the best characters are the characters that can be played at any point, right? So you can mm -hmm. really swap them around. That's really what the meta's kind of evolved to. For sure. Pretty equal on life. Nice. Drop kick. That's gonna be it. No. I don't know. Mean jump in. Huge whip though, bro. Oh, right, right in the Orochis, bro. With oh the standing God. knee. That's the, dirty. The future of little Yashiro's running around is now distant. It's over. Oh, right back at you though, Rugal with the quick confirm in the God Press. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. Um, oh, okay. What a color. That's a. Bro, the man, look at that run, bro. She's late for school. Put the toast in her mouth. Yo, you already know. Oh, nice. Oh, we're going to get some big damage here. EX Stomp. EX slapping him up. 100 hands. And another one. Get thrown, baby. Get tossed. I would yeah, say get needed, but, uh, you know, copyright. <laughs> copyright. <laughs> I'm going to toss right back into the corner. Huge Ooh. confirmed there with the reversal. And oh, Legner yeah. King, I got to say, I got to say, I think um, I'm definitely thinking Lokov. Lokov for sure. He's been just way too consistent. I'm going to say Dark Angel. Ooh, Dark okay, Angel okay. is both those guys. I mean, they both uh, ran sets. I mean, we'll talk about it after, after the, uh, the set, but uh, uh, they both ran sets with Shao Hai, and then Dark Angel actually had a pretty decent score. He lost, nice. but you know, he's so That's good to hear. I mean, it is Shao Hai. He's the final boss of KOF. But right now, Dark King trying to be the final boss what? of, or excuse me, Clark trying to be the final boss of Dark King's team. Ooh, what a whiff punish. And that's going to be a dead Hinako. Yup. Oh, Definitely cradle. cradle. He said, how's that for Sumo? Oh, so this is the power of Sumo. Bro, they should have put Hinako in the Sumo Arkabaki. All right, things would have been different. <laughs> But here we go now, Iori coming on in. Mm. Just got out of the casino. Yeah, he's definitely looking like money right now. Let's see if he can translate. Definitely don't want to play his full hand. Go home broke, but it might be happening. Now let's see here, gonna try and go for a reset. No, goes for the EX tackle instead into the DDT. We want the Oki option here. Oh no, I love the idea of a Juan. One step ahead, letting the fireworks shine. That's a moment where I wish we could have seen the player's inputs just to see how many times he pressed up. I know he was he was mashing up on that stick. Ooh, caught him, that's it, OTG. Yep, and Juan gonna be able to take game number one here against Dark King. Okay. I like it, I like it. But yes, Legner King, um, definitely Dark Angel and Lokov, I would say are the, probably the two players I would love to see uh, Violent Kane as well. I mean, there's so many to choose, right? So many qualified players in this bracket that I would love to see go to Evil Japan, which, for those that may not know, KOF 15 is going to be one of the games in the lineup, so I'm very happy to see it there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, KOF is going to be everywhere, right? If there's a tournament uh, worth their salt, they got KOF. Oh, yeah. And you're always in for a treat. You know, I, I feel like KOF, no matter the region, no matter the, the numbers, I, I feel like the top eight, the top four, Whatever you want to say, it's always good. It's always hype matches. Oh, like, cool. It always is. And you always get people who know nothing about KOF who watch it. And they're like, yo, I don't know what's going on, but this is sick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. Jumping right into it. Hinako on point. But this time, Benny Maru. Yeah, Benny Maru from Dark King. That's a... 
rare choice. I've always seen him lock in the, uh, you know, Oyashiro with the rest of his team, but we do have Wankoff putting Hinako on point as well. This is a matchup I haven't seen just yet, so I'm interested to see how it goes. Round oh, toss and assault. Go. Yeah, first Vinny Mario of the night, huh? Uh, there was there was one earlier, but we actually didn't get to see him. He was on the anchor. <laughs> right, yeah, it was, uh... I forgot who was playing, but yeah, he just kept winning, right? It was just so good. Nice DP. Oh, there it is. Just wake up yeah. with it. And why not, right? It's got guard point. It's a good wake up tool. Plus frames on the dust coin. And just throwing. Looks like Dark King has no idea what's going on. Bro, you said she got the thin mints and she comes out the mint color. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Girl scouted out of her Ready? mind, bro. This is the girl scout they need to send at people when uh, people don't pay up on time. <laughs> or she'll stomp you out of your house. Insane. A squee. Mm. Look at the damage. Yeah, one of the really fun things about Hinako is that she definitely dishes out a ton of damage, has a super unique moveset for a grappler. But her only downside is just how stubby she is, right? But if you could circumvent that, which you look at Dark King's team. <laughs> Right, yeah. Really, the best one at keeping her out is Benny Maru, and he's gone now. He's done, yeah. I would even say Yashiro, right, just because of Yashiro's big heavy buttons. But like you said, uh, nothing nothing is going to matter when you're just locked into the corner, right? Range doesn't matter. We do got that Frankensteiner. Let's see if Clark can kind of run the game on her. Yeah, once you're in the dojo, there's no getting out. Uh -oh. oh, nice. This is exactly Roger what we saw two. last time, too, right? Getting the 2C mm -hmm. punish, immediately yeah. going into that super. Yeah, I'll definitely drop in too. I don't blame him for this one. Get her out of here. Hey, he still has a bar to spare also, right? That's really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good meter management and rare footage of uh, Clark actually killing with uh, a maximum combo. Right? <laughs> you usually get so much scaling on them. Ready? Chat's like, damn, she's just a girl. She's just a kid. Yeah, that kid was just about to OCV this team. Clark had to become the heel and do something about it. Yeah, bro, channeling his inner Kenny Omega. <laughs> oh, the corner cross up, and that's a lot of resources from Juan Clark. Very good. Gets the oh, cross that's... up there, too, with the taco. You're dead. What an impressive game. We talk about Dark Angel, right, and, and low cough, but Juan Kauf, another player who is qualified for the SK World Championships and somebody who will definitely be uh, a threat if we just drop them at Evil Japan like, uh, you know, like the Toll. This yes. is the anchor. This is the point. This is the battery. Absolutely. Smart decision here from Reno. Let's see if it pays off. Got to see Leon put in some work earlier, though. Dominate Dolgor. Let's see if he runs it back. Stinga. Oh, we got that KOF 13 karate theme. This used to be like uh, PTSD for me when I hear this song, but now it's like home, you know? <laughs> no, I feel you. All right, jumping on in, keeping the pressure going with the fireball too. I like that we stopped a little short just to see what Reno was going to do, but Reno took that opportunity here to escape and now turn the tables. Oh. Mm. He found that little groove in the corner just to get a cross up. Nasty work, Reno. Oh, that was so disgusting. It looked like he was going to go for another cross up there, but hit the button just as he was about to hit the ground, too, just to get that animation cancel fake out. Mm. He's Howard's back in. Oh, you don't realize how big Geese is until he's next to Hyder. <laughs> yeah, he's a big boy. Got a small head, but you know, he's got a big body to, to make up for it. Nice. Oh, let's go. Very optimal. Go right into Fireball, build some more meter. No, no OTG, and that's fine. Yeah, I think he just wanted the stronger OP option there, right? But it still wouldn't work out anyway because Reno did wake up with the flash kick there. Gets the clean cross up. Sends up the slicer once again. Yeah, stealing back some resources as well. Oh, oh my god, that was so weird. He was close, but still got far D. Yeah, I think that was a throw attempt for sure, too. That would be nice, predictable TG. Still got caught by the Moon Slasher. Careful, though, here comes the fireballs. 
clean, clean, bro. Clear he cleared that, that leap with a single bound. Yeah, that was smart stuff from Reno. Condition Leon into continuously throwing fireballs to trade, but he was ready with it, man. Yeah, great placement on the tops. Here she comes, Shermie, mi amor. Uh, mi amor might be looking like me dead, bro. <laughs> bro she's got this. <laughs> Trying to get in, but the moon flashes and fireball combos. Reno just doing such a good job zoning out. Who's the buffering? Look at him, Reno has not stopped pressing buttons and Leon can't find a way in every time. Tries to sting her. Oh, it's crazy because she's like the anti-zoning grappler, but he's always got the charge on lock to catch you no matter what you try to do. He's gonna, he's gonna cross slash, he's gonna cross slash. I told you, he didn't no. get it. No, I just smelt it, I knew it was coming, but he didn't get it right there. Insane from Reno, bro. Wow, OCB to kick things off. We saw the way that Leon was playing earlier. So for Reno just to manhandle him like that is incredible. Are we going to go back to the drawing board here? Or we Whoa, we're going right into the rematch. <laughs> we were running it back. Yeah, that was insane. That was like, I've never seen such act like active defense, right? Like he was just constantly just playing in that same space, throwing out fireballs, catching it every time with the EX Moon Slash here. So Leon definitely cannot get tripped up this time. Oh, but we are in there. Whoever told Reno to pick up Hydern, you, you you deserve a medal. You also might have caused the destruction of planet Earth, because this might be ugly, bro. Ooh, that's cute. Too high up to get a full punish. Still gonna sneak it in there. EX command throw. Plus that DP, no, fireball just too fast. Beans, 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 can't jump over him. Good reflect. All right, this could be the start of something. And you, so you try to throw out that CD also just to catch the tip of that poke from Reno. Still so difficult to make something happen. Cross up isn't gonna be able to connect. His defense is so top notch. Oh, no punish. But it doesn't matter. Hop CD yet again. Do -do 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 boom, boom, boom. Man, Reno is looking incredibly strong. I, this is my first time seeing his hider in, in tournament. Because I've seen, you know, during his streams, uh, which shout outs to Reno. If you're not following his streams, you should. Some of the best layouts you've ever seen. <laughs> but he, he plays a lot of characters on there, you know, and he's just playing for fun. Like, this hider in the tournament is looking serious. Yeah, very practiced, very strong. He's been playing him for a few weeks now. Here we go, hopping in. Oh, interesting. It's the counter there. I wonder what Leon was going for in that situation. Oh, that was almost a good jump. Nice. Yes, kill him. Get him out of here. No. That's uh -oh. really unfortunate. You've given him one more chance to live it. It stays safe side with the hop B. Faked out the slasher cross. And we're, we're on the cusp of a second OCV. Leon, please. All you had to do was hit an extra punch button with that the record that's it for the ex that was it and this could be big unfortunate here nice okay kill him kill him get him out of here and that's gonna be it hider is done for now that is oh legner king we'll talk about that one after this yeah, right now we got to talk about this four bar Yashiro that's about to land some massive oh, no, damage bro. already. No. One for the wrong uh, EX. Ooh, oh. Interesting trade. Wow, just throws out the button there for the anti air. <laughs> Leon can't afford to get touched. This is so dangerous. Oh, that's yeah, going to be it. it. Yeah. Simple stuff. We're going to go into climax here. That's going to be it for Shermie, which means it is it for Leon. There's the meme, baby. <laughs> Everyone's got a punch. A raging demon right there. Nice stuff from Reno moving on to top eight winner side. And Legner King, to answer your question, I'm a, I'm a fan of, uh, I've been a fan of uh, Blue Mary, Clark, and Antonov. That's a, <laughs> I see you, bro. She has the tools to keep opponents out. And Rio, we already know what he wants to do. He wants to get in. He wants to box. He wants to put the pressure on you. Yeah, she's gonna. She's really gonna want to use her air movement to, to trick him into doing some bad DPS or like bad parries and blowing him up. So 
see if we can get some of that started. But Wonkoff, uh, not Wonkoff, excuse me, Dark Angel is just so good, though. He's not going to give you a chance. He jump, and that was the opportunity to get something started. But here we go. Throw. Time to establish some pressure. That is such a dirty setup, because depending on the air button you you use is where you land. If you just jump B, you get the cross up. If you delay yourself and get jump B, you stay in front. But right now, we are staying in front with those EX grenade punches. Very good. Oh, immediately just with the rising normal there. Oh, didn't take a shot. But he's yeah. going to take his. Mm -hmm. Hesitation is defeat, though, Rome. Oh. Ryuko Rambu, first super in the history of games, gonna land. Oh my god, I was so ambiguous, Jobber. Yeah, I feel like if we would have just, you know, pulled the trigger, taking that opportunity there to throw out the 2B, that round could have gone completely different. But I understand the hesitation there from Quan, right? You don't want to take any unnecessary risks against a character as explosive as Ryo. For sure. I want to see how he's gonna be able to fight against this Hinako. We didn't see Dark King really know what to do. Uh, she's still a relatively new character, folks, so in a matchup, you'll need to learn using the guard point. That's such a good tool, man. Bro, and the curb stomp right on the head, too. Dude, look how floaty her jump is. Yeah, she is one of the lowest uh, and floatiest short hops in the game. Oh, a guard point again, just checking. He's now some respectable damage there. Gets the invincible grab to blow up the 2 C and just goes for it again. Why are you rolling? Yeah, it's a little messed up to have a command grab that's invincible. Striking ball, you know? That is a little, uh... <laughs> I, I, see, I do see why people complain about grapplers now, I guess. She ain't even as scary as she used to be, too, the last game she was in. So. Oh my god, yeah. 2000, 2001, Hinako. Ridiculous. Oh, they were cooking. Mm -hmm. Or not, depending on who you ask. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> nice punish, oh, yeah. that is not plus at all. One of the few special moves she has, which is not really that plus, so good recogni uh, re recogni recognition, excuse me, English wrong. Good recognition from Dark Angel and good kill on that end right there, on that confirm. Yeah, when she commits to things like that, you definitely have to punish her, right? Don't allow her to get away with those fake turn steals. Mm. Now K Dash coming on in here against Juan's anchor Iori. Hinako still did plenty of work. Nice mash. Such a good time to mash. Mashing as a word is always used in a negative connotation, but it is such a good tool uh, in certain situations here. That's why we say Abare. Yeah. Abare is if it works. <laughs> it's like the meme where it's like place, and then it's like place in Japan, and like you're very happy. Like mash. Like mash in Japan. We are mashing on TNS right now. That should be a dead York, and it is Dark Angel with the first game. Absolutely. Very solid. Ooh. Hope we never meet again. Farewell forever. Block. Oh, you know, Legner, show me is my mamacita. Always. She's my esposa, all right? Select order. Jabber is uh, slowly morphing into Dom. They have the same mullet and everything. <laughs> Get ready. For a battle of titans. To block and report. <laughs> he really did. That's all he said in his win quote was like, That's I hope crazy, I never bro. see you. Block and report it. <laughs> That's crazy. Here we go. Jumping right into it again. Hinako on point up against Rio. Yep. Bit of a last switch. time. Last time it was Isla. Yeah, exactly. That order switch. I like this a lot more for Hinako, though, right? Both of these characters just want to be as close as possible to Brawl. Yeah, we brawling all right. Took him to the corner. Good roll through. Not enough to punish. Catches her on the bad roll, though, does Dark Angel. Break into the super. Wow. He's got save jumps for every situation. Yeah, every type of knockdown, too. Wow! Dark Angel is so sick with it! My man chased her down and got, like, the ending frames of that close D. He waited, because he wasn't sure. He thought he might have gotten far D, but was able to connect that. That was insane. All right, DP comes out. Whoa, bro, he just hit him with a standing C just like that. Look at this pressure. Guard gauge is starting to get cranked here. That's why Dark Angel making those opportunities, those chances to escape. Able to score a nice throw. Hops to the other side, but there's a throw break. 
Yeah, much needed throw big, but the jump B, immediate DX punches. Yeah, this is getting real rough. For Wanko, had to clean jump in, but even Dark Angel wasn't ready to confirm. Yeah, I was definitely expecting that Huam was going to be able to block that. And what a run under there, getting caught. Yep, getting that extra meter too, not, yeah, yeah, definitely don't disagree. It's your kill, man. Right on the paint. Oh, you guys are too kind. Too kind. We're just we're just doing our best and having fun with it. That's all. We appreciate all the love in the chat. Thank you all for coming in on this Tuesday night. And there we go. Level two just dumping it all to make sure that Isla is down and out. My man said cross cut SDM heat drive. We get it, Dark Angel. You play KOF. We get it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, bro, chill. Save that for Nash. <laughs> yeah, really. You really should save that for Nash. <laughs> oh, we got a ways to go before Nationals. Nice. Throwing out that 2C. Oh, Wonkoff getting some strays, but not able to convert off of them. Oh, that's it. Yep, good guard cancel. All I see is fireworks, Ooh. and that's it. Right. Here we are, down to the Anchor War. Juan needs this win. He needs this win to stay in the winner's side of top eight. Take it to a game three. Yeah, much needed game three for Juan Coffee. He needs to get there. Definitely want to stay on his winner's side top eight. And remember, whenever this goes into top three, got the cross Ooh. up jump speed. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's so unfortunate that didn't connect. I wonder why. It was just a little too late, maybe a little too high? It looked like he was low enough, but he probably just hesitated. Jump C cross-up from Iyuri is not a common thing, so he might not have been ready to take advantage. Yeah, but now his back is up against the wall and up against the ropes here. He needs to swing back. Yeah, batter, batter, Ooh. swing. Not like that. Oh, she gets the extra bar to go into super again. Also, right. spin back yet. Oh, no, not oh. enough. Just barely, but Juan has enough meter. No, it's not able to connect. Throws that one bar away, but still, it's a one-touch kill range for both players. Oh, spin kicks. Oh, and the hop CD. Man, I wanted one call to take that one back. But alas, Dark Angel is going to advance into top three winners. What a set. Uh, incredible stuff there. I feel like it's been nearly two O's across the board. Yeah. Opponent style. Let's see who's going to force their way. Right into it. Oh, we got that standing C. I wonder if we if we were trying to go for something else there. Potentially, we get the snake strike combo. Reno, yeah, Reno content. But he's not going to build more meter than low cost, so he can't let him stand there for too long. What a whiff punish! Right. Snake arm coming through. Again, just trying to poke with those snake arms. And there we go. EX pocket. That's exactly what I said before the match started. The threat of pocket means that Reno has to be very particular about throwing out those fireballs. Yeah, and, and I like how Reno is too seeing his snake strikes every single time. We're punishing him. Good stuff. Getting mileage out of that stand BB and special cancelable. Can't really combo it, but it's good for just throwing out fireballs and making your opponent second guess. Oh, look at the long limbs on both these guys. Should be should be playing basketball, not KOF. What y'all doing? Oh, it's those legs. Legs for days. I mean, the NBA right now, Yamazaki. What do you mean you in this tournament fighting for money? Yeah, just slowly but surely trying to move in, trying to find some kind of an opening from Reno. But Reno is going to be able to one to capitalize. Also, hit him with the suck, too, just to get a little extra health back because we're only at eight seconds. He put, he put his hands in his pocket and took his fireball back. Get my fireball, bro. What you doing with that? We got the Geese Howard. Possibly Lokov's best character. The one he gets a lot of work out of. But the jump C cross up. We're getting Beybladed to death. Big suck yet again. Oh, stay same side, but Lokov is able to block it here. Back roll. Oh, going for the EX this time just to make sure that the fireball is a little slower. Trying to throw Lokov off of his game. Yeah, that, that uh, EX fireball is a big stop sign. And nice 
catching a bad roll with the command throw. Stays in front on his side. Really hard to block Hyder in jump C. So good stuff for Lokov, but he's got to mount some offense. He tried to delay the air with, he tried to delay his air movement with the fireball, yep. but the EX Moon Slash that does not care, it's still going to connect. And now here comes Benny Morrow. Man, Reno. Reno's Hyder has been on something this evening here. But Lokov is looking to put this character away and get an opportunity to find another one. <laughs> that neutral zone bro. Bro, he had so much recovery on EX Command Throw. He landed, missed his jump, and still got a 2C in front <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, nice, nice conversion from Lokov. Okay, there it is. EX Slasher. That is the tool you need against Hydern to throw uh, to throw back the fireballs in his face. So good stuff. Yeah, Hassal, he was going for the new Benny tech that I've seen on Twitter. You, you EX Raijinkin and then Tiger Knee Raijinkin. It pops them higher and allows for an, an additional juggle. Didn't finish the combo like he wanted, though. So right, still able to shut down the character. That's what's important here. But now has to get through this wall of normals that is Yashiro. Mm, thinking of normals. Whoa! What a trade. What a, uh, not trade, excuse me. What a um, whiff punish. And just checking in with the 5B, using it as a measuring stick. See ya! Got a nickel and dime him, trying to get some damage out of him. It's pretty much point. Uh, no, there, there it is. Yep. Yeah, Keep right it into the climax, bro. Hit him with the seismic toss. Picked up the whole ground on him. Batista bomb. It's over. <laughs> the goddess of victory. And there we go. Reno. Just like that. Ooh. I mean, he's right, though. You shouldn't be pulling your punches, you know? Yeah, absolutely. But up one in the moment here. Reno with a pretty convincing victory now. Lokov definitely going to have to... You know, I feel like his Yamazaki was doing so well, but he needs to really put put the brakes on Hydern because Reno's Hydern has been out of control so far. Yeah, the way he's playing Hydern, it seems like he's been running his character since release. But that just goes to show the dedication and, like, you know, the, the amount of practice that a player like Reno is willing to put in daily to make sure he's in top shape. And, I mean, it just helps, too, his play style. The way that he played... The way that he played um, Ash was also that kind of very slow, you know, with punish style, just trying to find that straight opening. Again, another charge character, right? So mm -hmm. being able to bring that character out, now a character who has a much more potent offensive material and just mid-range material, being able to play that footsies game, it's just brought him to the next level. For sure. I mean, this is this Ash Crimson, except I don't have to rely on a three-bar combo. I can put him anywhere I want, and then all of my additional tools, like my normals and specials, are are just as good, if not better, than Ash. Hold up, Shadow Strike connects. Yeah, give him the palms, put him right into the corner here. Stopping short again. That's one of the reasons why Geese is so strong. All his strengths push him out and keep him so safe. That was a really smart option too to go for Stand B in that combo. Try to jump up a fireball again. Switch it him up, throwing out the heavy one. Nice sweep. And there he yeah. goes. Standing Yi hit him with the roundhouse. <laughs> Legner King says we sound like the Pokemon Stadium in 64 commentators. I appreciate that because I, I actually like the commentator a lot in that game. <laughs> oh, I got something to send you after this, Sun Rome. Oh, please do. Right now, we are trying to see Lokov send Reno down to losers, but he's got two games to do it. It's a good start. Listen to 2C. Mm. I 2D, they have that wake up roll, just avoiding it narrowly. But all these trades not going in Reno's favor. You see, and this is all it took. Lokov just needed to get rid of Hydern, and then we can finally start establishing our own game plan, right? Hydern's been really just throwing a, a wrench in the gears there, a wrench in the cog. For sure. Ready? Isla seeing so much of this character. Even Reno's on her now. I like it, man. These players definitely want to win. And this is the way to do it. <laughs> right, Max Powers? <laughs> if you want to know how to win. Oh, what a conversion. He's got the corner two. We can spray can. DP. He's going to end it off on that. That's fine. 
Alright, nice. Just go for the air fireball. Tries to throw out the parry there, right? Was expecting Reno to clap back. Ooh, yeah, interesting there. Lokov was definitely not expecting that. Not at all. Strange whiff. Nice block in the double taco. And the triple! Good blocks. Jump in. Let's see what Lokov is trying to do here. He definitely wants to run the clock. Maybe try to get some potential trades. Oh, that was a bad jump beat. Got her, though, with the palm combo. Not going to go into super. We want to save some resources for next time. Good stuff, though. Counter eight conversion, and that's it. Mm -hmm. May the best anchor win. Oh, Benny Morrow. Special. Mm -hmm. so, that was the special intro. That should be dead easily. Yep. Climax can be enough. But yeah, he has a special intro when he's fighting uh, girls because, you know, he's such a such a lover's what boy. A it's Benny Morrow. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Benny Mars the ladies' man. Yeah, he truly is. I mean, he's like really winning, right? Like, not even just winning all the KOFs, but like he's winning at life. He's a model, he's got money, he's handsome, he's a good fighter. What what is there not to like about Benny Morrow? <laughs> I mean the haircut, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting choice up here, right? Like all right, it's him. It's him, okay. <laughs> Go, towards the back throw. They same side here. Looks like we got our very first 1-1 uh, one -one set, two of the night. So you can tell these players are really hungry. They want to get to that top three. Absolutely here, trying to move on to face Dark Angel in winner's finals. The pockets the fireball. Just gonna keep it locked up. It's those things pinpoint reactions there too from Lokov, right? Just trying to wait for the single twitch resets there into the grab. That was very cute from Lokov. I was wondering, I'm like, he doesn't drop those combos, but that was, oh, he is, oh, okay, Lokov. This guy is on it right now. Got the download complete. That was insane. How do you just have every option at every time, man? He's learning as he fights, right? Getting better as it goes on. Really just try figuring out Reno's habits. And now Reno really needs to answer back here. You can't let Yamazaki get carried away with the momentum. Yeah, that's one character you need to get rid of as soon as you can. Jam on the back end with that 5C. Just punching his way out of the corner, literally. What a whip punish there after the 2C. Oh, he said, I'll meet you in the air, brother. You trying to uppercut me? <laughs> the, amount oh, no. of, the amount of cross-unders I have seen tonight, Rome, is that the new hot stuff? Because I feel like I've seen more cross-under mix-ups than I have in months. It looks like it. You know, uh, at first, a lot of players were a little reluctant to do cross-unders, right? Because of how good, like, wake-up throw is. But they're finding that spacing where they're just right outside of the throw range. Nice shatter strike. Oh, oh tries to push Shadow Strike back, but we've already seen Snake Arm blow it up before like that. Damn, low cough with this crazy change in play. <laughs> Just grabbing the ankles. Break hand. No, didn't land in it. A little bit of health left on y Yamasaki. Reno has to be very careful. Doesn't want to give up any more damage. Top CD. Did she say this, bro? Yeah. Abune. <laughs> Got it. Top CD. Sorry, I was a little lost in the sauce right there, Chad. I was trying to figure out this match. I'm like, what is happening? Ready? <laughs> Go. Peace. And equally, yeah, Reno's trying to play as conservative as he can. Can't waste any motions here. Everything has to stick, but that 2C is going to stick to your face. Oh, gets the low here, and that's going to be 
Yep. OTG. There it is. Lokov takes it 2-1. What My man, he built the bar the using world. the palm. He said, oh, I still got time left. That is what we call optimization right there. Very, very good. Just like that, man. What a what a comeback from, from Lokov. Like, Yurikov making his way to the stage. You'll see Yurikov this weekend at NEC, uh, which is a qualifier. So good luck to him there. We got the Terminator on player two side, man. Yeah, Point Clark here, Shadow X, the most consistent player in KOF. This man is loyal. Yeah, he is not changing up. You got to take his characters out the game for him to change it up. Unfortunately, he plays very popular characters. I think they've never missed a KOF. Uh oh, but okay. there's the wake up DP immediately letting the shotgun kick rip as well. It's just very solid dominating first round there for Yuriko. I like it. Off, showing that he is no slouch, and we know that. I mean, we've seen this player in numerous offline tournaments and here at TNS. So, but here comes that K dash, man. I know we talk about the Clark, but Shadow X is K dash just as dangerous. Oh, okay, nice. Fireballs in. Are we getting nasty with it? Nice conversion. Right on in, too. Yurikov just kind of walking backwards, getting caught there. Unfortunately, unable to put a stop to just the onslaught. All right, here comes Mary. Let's see what we can do. This first Mary of the night lands into the close seat. Oh, he gets all that off of half a bar. Oh, off a bar, excuse me, not half. Oh, tries to run up and get the punish there with the close C, but it's not going to work. Oh, nice roll, though, from Shadow X. Just barely able to avoid those two Bs. Tries to go for a cross-up jump B. Nice, gets the hit. Good stuff from Yurikov. Go right into level three. Yes, sir. But will the fight truly be over? Let's find out here. Cesaro swing. No pixel left. Nice. <laughs> That's good. Oh, this music's fire. Yeah, it's very like exciting, right? Very happy music. All right, tech. Nice run up with the 5C. It's going to EX Fireball. Oh, that's it. Neither side is giving an inch. Mary's so pretty, man. I feel you. I feel you, Agron. <laughs> she, she's just beautiful. Sometimes you got to stop and stare, you know? You got to appreciate it. She ain't on screen right now. Now it's time for one sleepy boy, though, to take her place. Yeah, let's see. Nita Kuhn trying to spread the melatonin to Yuri, but he getting command grab instead. Right to the fireworks here. Take it to the ground. Goes for the roll just a little early to make sure he doesn't get the cross up, right? So smart. Oh, reactions there from Yuri Kov. Able to charge that. Yeah, I thought he did it again. That would have been nasty. Wow, that was such a good option. Jump A, doing it at the right time and still having time to land. Anyone's game here. Oh, but no. run up EX Scumgale again. Hitting its mark, still not enough to get the kill. Jumps jump right out. out. Okay, that was smart. Delaying his movement. Follow the fireball, DP. DD fireball here, and there it is. Goes for the EX. Too quick for Shadow X to react to. Yurikov taking game one by the skin of his teeth. Legitimately, you look up the word, you look up the phrase, Skin of his teeth, and that is exactly what it was. So what happened there at the end, it looks like Shadow X tried to do the EX, like, you know, flip to go, uh, the, the, the hop slash to go over the fireball. But I can't tell if he didn't have the meter at first and then, and then just got the regular and, and then gained the bar because he had the meter at the end. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if he just built the meter by doing a regular one right there and didn't have it. Maybe like the, 
the marker for the meter was like right at the top of the 50 percent so yeah ready but either way you're a cough taking that first uh game and this is loser so remember whoever loses two is going to be done for the day Let's see if your cough can maintain that momentum though Wow, it looks like he started to block the DP, but let go at the end. <laughs> this could be a big win here. I mean, we know, again, how good Yurikov is, but uh, to be Shadow X, not like this. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge start for Shadow X now, too, right? And he's so good at bringing things back like that. Up, a little bit more work from Mary here. Clark sitting on so much health. Oh, and the whiff punish there with the 2C. Whoa, that was interesting. Yeah, I think he was trying to go for the air throw. But just out of place to get it. Yeah, I guess the run up 2D, though. Empty jump is going to get caught this time, though. Nice. There's the disarmor. Oh, I really do do that. Nice confirm. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, spin it. Not a bad idea. Should be enough, too. Uh, no, oh, no, not quite. Just a little bit of health left. But you know what happens when you give Shadow X an inch. He's going to try and take a mile. There's the EX tackle. Immediately oh, into the no. elbow drop. It's Oki time. Yeah, Yurikov just trying to get out of there. Nice to jump B. Nice button right there. Mary's got a lot of really good air buttons. So jump B, solid cross up. Jump A, really good air to air. And jump D, just being so versatile in how it's used. Slicer. Air punish. Wake up, roll into a jump C, but no finish from Shadow X. Definitely would have been the end of Mary. Here's a DP, gets the knockdown. Cross under. And let's see the routing here from Yuri Kong. Should be enough to kill here, possibly. No, not quite. We had to end in the DP. Yeah. The King of Wakes up, jump A, and to the anywhere juggle minute spike. <laughs> This is uh, Meets and Coon versus Shune's theme. It's a very, very happy thing. I like it. Mm. Oh no, the overhead. Nice with the DP into the dash punch, and here we are down to the wire once again. Will Shadow X be able to overcome this? He needs to, or this is going to be the end of the road for him. A little bit less health on Yurikov this time, but if he can play the Mitsukun like he did last time, gets the run-up throw. Just immediately spacing himself out. Yep, trying to force a bad movement out of Shadow X. Shadow X trying to blow up the landing frames. This is going to hurt. He's going to spend the extra bar? No. Death, that's fine. The next one will definitely do it. Yeah, definitely wants to hold on to it just in case things go awry, right? So that you have that guard cancel available. So important to have a get out of jail option. Ooh, too far. Oh, he wasn't ready. The Shadow X gets the 5D. Falls oh right into the main and master. And the climax is going to do it. Man, and I know Yurikov is feeling that one. He wanted to get that over as fast as he could. But he's not going to get a chance because we're going to game three. Oh, he tucked him in, kissed him on the forehead, and said good night. Good night, sugar. <laughs> First thing I thought of, I'm sorry. Hey, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Rogue. Yes, save that for after the stream, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Ain't my bedtime yet. I know. I'll make it your bedtime, though. Damn. All right, all right, chill. <laughs> sorry, Chad. We was having a moment, you know. It happens sometimes, but we're here with you all. Hope you're having a great time watching these hype matches. Yurikov <laughs> definitely did not want this to go to game three, but unfortunately it is. And uh, Shadow X, you know, definitely uh, going to use this momentum and try to close this out. But let's see if Yurikov can stay in the game. All right. Starting off things strong there with the CD. 
Uh oh, but yeah, you do not. Wow, he actually got the counter hit in the air. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, he didn't have the meter. Duh, just started. <laughs> well, you're used to seeing it, right? I don't blame uh, yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. I'm so used to seeing you. every counter hit JA leading immediately into tackle. Yep. I treat every Clark as if they have bar, you know? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Just chasing Shadow X down, trying to keep this hot pressure up. Absolutely getting smothered here, but all it takes is one well placed 2C. Straight to the tackle, rolling Death Curl to put you into the corner. Sneaks in the overhead, but good block from Yurikov when he's ready. Got those two Cs on deck. Does he air throw? Blocks it again. He's uh, doing really well against this character. We've seen Shadow X's Clark just make the best players fold. And even though he won this one, this is the first point war that he actually won in this entire set. Yeah, but that's, that's really good for the prospects of him going on in the bracket, right? Shows that he is adapting as it goes on, and now it's Yurikov. Mm -hmm who has to answer back here. There's the EX tackle. Ooh, big old DDT. Uh-oh. The Clarkening. It's happening. Hey, Yurikov just trying to get away. Shadow X is making it very hard. Such good uh, placements of his buttons there. Oh! But the Frankensteiner is gonna whip here. Nice quick max combo here from Yurikov. Right to the climax for sure. Get this boy out of here. Very good. Yep. Wiping her hands of all the dirt she just threw out. He spent all of his resources just to get that done. We're going into K Dash. Coming in with two. About to be a half soon as well. Mm. Oh, so there's the punish on the slide. Only going for the throw punish. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I wonder if we were holding forward, right? We didn't stop. So to get that close to you. Yeah, that's probably what happened. But you said the word unfortunate, and it is so applicable to that last interaction. Yurikov a little bit too early on the German suplex there, so it whiffed. He was still in guard uh, stun, so he wasn't able to get thrown, and that's very unfortunate. We're down on the anchor for Yurikov. Let's see what he can do. Oh, beautiful poke there from the tip. Look how much damage we were able to squeeze out, too. All with the OTG. Nice. Oh, you know what, yeah, don't, don't, don't go wait, for it, yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't risk it, because there's another DP. He might have been able to get a dash punch, possibly, but yeah, you know what? Here we go, getting the punish off of the Shadow Strike this time, though. Depending on how things go, he could... Oh, goes right over. Lucan kicks. Play things nice and slow there, Yuri called Final game, final round. Oh, snap. Yo, chat, who y'all like? It's uh, very even. Uh, yep, Yuri just has one more bar over Yurikov. But Yurikov, uh, which I thought was going to come in at a meter deficit, is actually looking good. And he just needs to find that one straight hit. There it is. Able to put Shadow X into the corner. Now we just have to capitalize, but you still have to be careful. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been a big whiff punish. Almost a bad roll for Shadow X, but recovers in time. Yurikov with his lockdown. Nice to see. Oh, he's like a snake in the grass when you corner a viper. They're still dangerous. They still have their fangs. Definitely trying to bite his way out of here. No counter hit that time. Gets it then. Oh, this is dangerous. Four bars. Watch out for the EX Scum Gale, too. Yeah, oh, no. Scum Gale's coming. Oh, there it is. And that's going to be a jobber. Oh, clairvoyance. What a horrible tool. <laughs> a horrible power. Mm, what a horrible fate for a night like this. Yori Gami's going to take it. What a comeback from Shadow X, but a very, very good game from Yurikov. He gave it his own chat. Get those predictions in. Uh, let's see who's going to take it. Round one. Ready? Go. So both players are playing very exceptional until they ran into that one stop sign earlier. For uh, Dark King, it was... Uh, who was playing Hinako again? Oh, uh, Wan Call. It was Wan Call. Here we go. Got the karate theme back in there. Nice little profile. It's facing on Dark King. 
Find him up with a 2B. Double overhead, 2C of his own. Yeah, all right, gets the 2D, but a little too predictable on that jump and gets tossed to the corner, but that was... Leon just kind of stood there, let Dark King wake up and hit him right in the ankles. He's following the script. <laughs> said, hold on, you're supposed to empty jump that. <laughs> but come on, man, we followed this whole script. We talked about it in the back. There we go, nice. Jeremy just gripping you up by your head. Mm hmm. Mm. Nice fart. It's just far C, but no finish. Actually, could special cancel that as a super if he was ready. Nice. Bro, his head exploded. <laughs> Boom. Hey, man, my head might explode too if Shermie's around. He's a very pretty lady, and sometimes you get some thoughts, you know what I'm saying? And just be thinking but right now rugal not trying to think at all he's trying to get this oh, out of here wow he's so lucky still gets caught though by the anti-air right out of the sky by those heels those stilettos he stepped on nice turn you whip break your back pause all right there we go hopping in again but the cutter I feel like that's the second time we've seen Dark King go for a cutter and just get it blocked right in that exact position. Yeah, it's, it's not the best DP. Not the best. And he didn't want to overcommit and spin the EX bar. Even though it might have been, I think the EX version is a little faster, but still. Oh, guard point. Says no, baby. Command throw for you. Oh, and there it is. The patience from Dark King waiting for that 2C punish. Jumping right on in, and Shermie is out of here. Yeah. Good meter management as well. He is damn near at five bars. After spending two bars in that, uh, two EX meters, I should say, in those last two interactions. Ready, go. Oh, another 2C. Man, the way that these players, these Clark players, are utilizing 2C, you think he's Ralph. Shit. He wishes. <laughs> there he goes, hopping the run-in pressure with a 2A check, getting the full tackle into Oki. Oh, the frame trap. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Dark King with the SDM. Climax will be coming right after you already know. Uh, to the hard camera side now. Uh. I feel like this is the longest sequence out of any super cancel. <laughs> it really is. But yeah, Dark King gonna be able to take a game number one here against Leon. Mark still. <laughs> you can probably handle yourself in our in our unit. Ha, <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bro, you won, man. Like, there's no point in just being so brutal and mean spirited. Like, don't be a no, sore a nice winner, guy. Clark. He's a nice guy, all right. I don't know. That was looking a little condescending right there, but we got Geese back in here. Leon definitely needs to turn things up. Vinny Morrow just ran a train on them the last time. That's a serious accusation there, Yuba. <laughs> That's... Wow. Uh, source? <laughs> source is just the shades, you know what I'm saying? Right, here we go, gets the run-up throw. Oh, waking up immediately with buttons. Yeah, so Dark King was definitely trying to go for a throw tech there. Unfortunately, it's still, or excuse me, Leon was trying to go for a throw break right there, but it's still going to lose. Lose Geese in the process. Yeah. Big unfortunate. Let's see if Sherman can use those big normals to turn things over in her favor. Gonna need it. Yep, rolling, not trying to deal with that jump B. It is a very, very good cross-up button. Oh, okay. nice block. Oh, so much damage left on the table. Oh. Leon. This is getting scrambly. Oh, wait. Hold up. We make we make a chicken oh. salad out of chicken, you know. Very good. Oh, here it is. What's she saying, Java? What's she saying in his ear? I'm sorry, Chad, but you know, God, I wish that was me. <laughs> there it is. In true Iron Sheet fashion right there. Camel clutch for the win. Here we go now, Rugal coming on in. 
Yeah, I just see Benny Mar on the floor with the um, the, the Alex Valle like uh, emote thing where he's like <laughs> smiling early on. All right, three oh, bar Rugal, three and a half bar Rugal, even, but he's gonna get caught after the guard cancel. Wow, so much time left, or so much, such an active button with that close seat. Ooh, he tried to challenge that? Oh no, to the window, to the wall. Yep, chip on. Oh, okay. What a challenge, straight into the level one, step on him. Double hop in, rolls backwards, trying to bait out a cutter most likely, but it's still gonna lose Shermie. Insane stuff right there. I like that Leon was definitely challenging Rugal. Didn't want to succumb to defeat off Chip, so good stuff. Yeah, taught us something. I've never seen that really get challenged like that, so you can't get too hasty though. Oh. Out. Very good. Neither side is giving an inch. Final round. Ready? Go. All right, here we go. Anchor war now. Dark King still at set point, threatening to eliminate Leon from the bracket here. Has the meter advantage for a substantial amount. But. This is scary, right? I feel like Athena does really good against Clark just because of how hard she is to keep locked down. For sure. I mean, she does a phenomenal job. But this is a Clark with meter. She doesn't have much resources. Gonna have to bank on a lot of resets. Just walks out of the Frankensteiner. Takes the front. That's it. Yeah. Good stuff. Dark King thought a cross-up jump B was coming, but no, it was a straight-up jump B. And Athena's gonna take it. And we're gonna be able to get another game three here. Finally, our game three is coming out in top eight. Not surprised though with the level that these players have been playing at tonight. But we're gonna go back to member select for Dark King. Interesting. I wonder who we're gonna take out. Maybe Rugal? Yeah, we might be getting Oyashiro back. Mm. Let's see. But yeah, good stuff yeah, to uh, he, 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 he homeboy is a thinker. Oh, keeping Rugal. We're at wow. Okay, we're actually losing Clark. Mm -hmm. Trading one grappler for another. <laughs> Putting him on anchor as well. Perhaps wants to use the uh, the dash grab to go through Athena's fireballs. So I can see that, or the hop, right? Because uh, the hop punch that he does, that goes over. If you, if she does like two C fireball, you can hop punch right over, spike her to the ground, and then get uh, EXOTG through. Okay. So we got uh, a lot of anti zoning tools in Oyashiro compared to Clark. <laughs> Clark is Henry Cavill. <laughs> Chad is on it tonight. I don't even know what that means, but what? <laughs> Man, he's Superman, bro. Uh, okay, okay, you're right. All right, I was here gonna we say, go. He's, he's never coming back for a new movie, but hold on. He's Warhammer, bro. That's what he's saying. <laughs> uh -huh. Good. Oh, challenging EX bomb there. Interesting to just throw that out of neutral like that, but it worked. It's stuffing uh, Dark King. Not stuffing him for long, though. He's still keeping the pace up here against Leon. Leon needs this win. Okay, this could be good. Yeah. Super confirm. And Leon taking the first round in his set. Much needed. That's what we like to see. Mm. Now going up against Rugal here. The two boss characters. Ready to throw it down. Oh, yeah. I do remember finding out that canonically Rugal is stronger than Geese. He was supposed to be a mixture of Geese and... Uh, Krauser, which is why he has Rapukin and um, he has uh, Kaiser Wave. Well, not in this game, but he you know, has Kaiser Wave. He's gonna, gonna try to beat them allegations right now. He's working on it. Has Regali in the corner up against the ropes. Ooh, that was a little messy there on the EX Air Fireball. I had to get it just a little lower to the ground. That's why you usually see people go for the TK version. I'm not sure what happened there. I was wondering why he just didn't go for OTG, right? Like, just EX OTG throw. Would have kept the corner presence and got some guaranteed damage. But can't think about the pass. We are already into round three. 
Yep, and there we go. Rugal still going to be alive here. Mm. Oh, what a challenge. Yeah, I know it's his, uh, it's his, it's a part of his climax, but I mean, as a regular move, he doesn't have it, which he used to have in older games. Ooh. Got the Judgment Day Yashiro, it's down to him. All up to Yashiro, all on his shoulders here to try and bring out Athena for the final battle. They all really felt to turn this around. Mm. Oh, didn't challenge. Oh, that's that. Yeah. What? He didn't believe. All right, dropped the neck breaker. Nice. I like it. Getting out of the corner. You have five bars. You need the opportunity to start cooking. Not gonna spend it. Understandable. Nice. Ooh. Gets there with the five B. Yep, yeah. right into the climax. We still have two bars left, and you need to freeze the timer to get as much health back as possible. Yeah, that was such a smart option. Very, very good. Our king taking it down again to the wire. Anchor, anchor. He's coming in with about 40%. Still has two bars. He only needs two clean jump ins on, on uh, um, Athena, and that's it. Yeah, that's gonna be easier said than done. Remember, Clark was having a difficult time keeping her locked down because of how slippery she is, but here we go. In the level one. Yeah, Clark doesn't have this super damage though. Oh my God. Oh, Gark Cancer rolls out and Leon is gonna take it with Athena Asamiya. Very good. Two members of the Dark Triad down. The only one remaining is the King, currently sitting in winner's finals. Do whatever he needs to. But man, this has been a grand final set at so many previous other TNSs, and uh, we're getting it here in top eight losers, but only one can advance. And remember, this is going to be still two out of three. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, try to punish. Yo, we are swinging, man. Give me a cancelable 5C that's a haymaker, and I'm throwing it out. Got to beat something out from Reno. You know, taking this uh, slow, uh, taking this slowly as he can, but Shadow X is trying to force it out of him. Nice. Getting its mark there, but using a guard point of his own. Mm. Fortunately, Reno unable to get a foot in the front door there. Stopped just short. Shadow X going to gain a lot of life back, too. This is you're a health K dash. Oh, yeah. So like, you're talking about, you know, feet in the door. That big old stand CD from uh, K dash. It's like he got like Kingdom Hearts feet, bro. It's a big boot. Titan also got some big shoes. He's trying to fill them right now for his team. Put them on his back. Mm. I like how they both just like suited up right now too, right? Like Titan's in his uh this military military gear, and then you got K Dash with his Nike tech suit on. Like, ooh. Gar gauge. Keeping that pressure up there. Gar can't put you right back into the corner. This will hurt. Mmm. Or knockdown. Look at that patient trying to bait out the flash kick there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, there it is. Shadow X's patience finally pays off. It's what he was looking for the whole time. I man hit him with the moist critical. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Good stuff. Down to Reno. Anchor at Oyashiro again. Seeing some of that from Dark King. Right. Should be it. Yep. Level one will be enough for the kill. Time to go out the next one. Boom, 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 boom. Right into Yori. Bring him out.
2B again. See the way that Shadow X is maneuvering in and out, trying to stay out of Yashiro's danger zones, but unfortunately commits to the wreck up, puts himself right in. Oh yeah. Having a guess, could block on a cross up. I mean, you know, you, you would you wouldn't be hard pressed to think that Yashiro is always looking for a cross up jump C. Ooh. Total touch, but no meter to give a max mode, so Shadow X held off. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna hurt. Not gonna be enough though. Out of resources. But not out of options. Oh, there we go. Shadow X is so command, bro. Man, so command, bro. He's always ready for those command throws. Damn, bars. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. It's hard out here. <laughs> yeah, going up game one here, Yori, with the trash talking at the end, too. And we're going to go back to order swap for Reno. I have to imagine like we're putting Hydra on point now. Yeah, we might get that, actually. Just to kind of combat the uh, aggressiveness of Clark. Just having a fireball out there to slow him down, right? Like, it's not a bad idea in theory. But uh, in things can go theory. south. Mm-hmm. Thinking about it. Ooh, okay, switch in order yet again. It's about to be a party up in here. All right, let's see. Jumping right into it. Of course, Hydern <laughs> is going to be on point here to deal with K Dash now. Uh, Jaywin, please. <laughs> it got me because it was so cheap. Yo, so ban. It got me. <laughs> <laughs> shoot this man. Don't ban him, but shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go into the next match now. Let's see how Hydern on point is going to work out because that's what Reno has been consistently playing so far tonight. Made the swap yeah. for this one game. And I want to see why. What were we afraid of against KDAT? I mean, obviously, EX Slide, right? EX Slide is definitely a scary thought. It can just blow straight through your fireballs. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to deal with it at all. That and, you know, part of the fact that K-Dash just has a reversal option to kind of deal with the Onslaught. Right now, not doing it, though. Just eating all of those jump Cs. Need some in the air. Jump C. Right back at you. Oh, he does get caught trying to jump forward this time. Good patience. Ooh. Oh, oh no. no! Yeah, huge commitment there from Shadow X to let that DP rip. So this Hydern swap, pretty good. Yeah, it definitely worked out. You know, I'm sure he tried to match the, the Clark, but you know, we still get a character, right? So we will, uh, we will keep it going. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, lead. Wow, just hitting to the other side. There we go with the pinwheel out again. That's but throws so it out of the corner. Imagine having a special move that, like, steals resources from your opponent. Insane. <laughs> I mean, careful, you're going to get Dragon Ball fans PTSD. <laughs> I know, right? I'm sure they're getting it now with their rollback. They're probably running into 21 players. But wow, that's two characters down here. Hydern Point putting in the work. It's starting to look like the Hydern that we've been seeing all night. Oh, my man. Two finger salute to your boy. Don't know how it's going to work out. Clark got a lot, a lot of work to do. Punching in overtime. Let's see if he can make it connect. But that jump C is going to connect. See Shadow X make Shadow X make these comebacks before with Clark and has plenty of meter to do it here. Just needs to find that one opportunity to capitalize. But it's starting to slip further and further away. Reno's just so patient. There it is! Got a little too greedy with the finger guns here. Letting the level two rock. We're gonna go into the climax for sure. Oh, it's a very long SDM from Clark. That's gonna be at a climax here. Actually, probably gonna scale. I don't. No, it's yeah, not going to kill a lot. For yeah. sure. Just barely, but still alive. 
This is probably Clark's most damaging combo. Nice, jump A. I know. Finally takes a round. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see how fast this one ends here. Yashiro just needs one hit. Yeah, He's got the maximal too, so yeah. Still have a lot of ground to cover, but here we go. JA into EX tackle. This is a start. Just gotta weather this storm as long as possible. And then the meter. You have the meter advantage now for Shadow X here. There's the Frankensteiner. Oh! Time. Two, three, two. Greedy mm. with the throws, and Reno is gonna tie things up one, one. Reno said, "I've seen this movie, sir. I know what happens next. I know your five, five moves of doom with John Cena. <laughs> I've been in this place before." <laughs> Here we go now. Final game. This is three game threes in a row. Mm -hmm. After we talked about the straight two O's, right? Funny how that works. Round one. Ready? Go! Mm. <laughs> How does 2C at the right time to trade with the jump C, and that's fine. Oh, nice run under. You know. Brain trap, though, from Shadow X. The much yep. needed combo. Oh, drop the minute spike. Put to the corner, though. That's all right. May have dropped the combo, but we still have the pressure. Is able to get the 2C2 at Reno trying to press out, but Tech's out of the air and is able to get the throw. Okay, gets the throw. Takes in another. No, not going to go for it. Instead, forcing a blowback out of Shadow X. Gets the run up throw. Reno takes back the health. With the jump B cross up. Oh, nice right there, man. That was so good. And then go for the jump D, uh, jump C, excuse me, jump B instead to make it a bit more ambiguous. Ready, go. All right, taken out of the skies. Tries to go for the cross up. Great defense there, though, from Shadow X. He's been trying to fish out with this 2D a little bit more, I'm noticing now with Iori, right? Leaning into it a bit more, especially against Hydran here. Yeah, just trying to use it as like a fast poke, right? Just to stop any advancing movement from Shadow X in that uh, excuse me, from Hydern in that point. But doesn't matter, gonna get the win. And we're going to the middle characters for both. Pretty identical on meter as well as health. So he's gonna get that first big hit. You already know Reno is just sniffing for it. Gonna get it there with the super. Is he gonna spend the extra? Nope. That's fine. OTG. Stays on him like white on rice. And that's gonna be Ooh. it, Jobber. Mm. Clean, clean, clean. And now, once again, it all falls on Clark still. Burn to fight. Ready? See if we can keep it going. Yep. Look at this trying to poke out. Oh my god, stopping him short there. But just, whoa, that was an interesting interaction. The 2C actually hit right before Shadow X touched the ground. So yeah, got him in that air state. Yeah, slightly above. Wow, he had whoa. enough time. The hit stun on a jump A, man, and just how active it is. So what a button. Dude. From the tip. Gives him the hammer fist as well. Guard cancel out, immediately scores the throw. Shadow X needs to close this out as fast as possible in order to gain some health back. Oh, that was a sick DP. He let it rip from that far and it's still connected. There we go, quick max, you have to, right? Yeah. This is so unfortunate for this situation here. But should be able to get the kill. Freeze the clock. 24 seconds. That's not a lot of health back. No. no. One too many light normals. Scaled quite a bit there. And the trade is going to take the win. 
final game, final round. Ooh. Yet again, folks, who's going to take it? You know, sitting pretty full health character as well Ready. as two resources. From one Yashiro Ready. to another. Basically death for uh, Clark if he gets hit. Shadow cannot get hit at all. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, wow, okay. All right, into the tackle. We're gonna get some Oki out of this. Man, he's gotta mix him up at least like four times, bro. <laughs> you know, just looking for that one hit. I don't know, bro. It's starting to get closer and closer now. All these stray hits are adding up. Oh, and there it is! The quick max off the trade immediately into the air grab. Brother, that was so OD. Counter hit 5B into anti-air grab. Reno, sir, you are ridiculous. Bro, that is... That's nasty. That's nasty, all right. But it means now it's time to move on into a three out of five match, an extended match here. There we go. Yeah, all right. Let's get it. All right. Winner's finals, three out of five action. Dark Angel contra Lokov. See how it goes. Kulken. Nice. We are slapping each other. Guys. Tech roll and immediately run back into each other's grill. I like it. What is he even saying when he picks you up? Like, he should be mumbling stuff, bro. He is also the victor of that round. Good stuff, the low cough. Follow my lead. Ready? Go! Hey, Basil the Penguin, thank you so much for the sub. Just in time for this KOF action, this winner's finals action. You see Lokov already up a character. Nice anti-air. Hit the combo here as well on Dark Angel's K-Dash. You are not jumping, bro. This is a no-fly zone. Archangel missed a safe jump, but still was safe. No super cancel from low cough there. What a pickup! That was so nice. See, this is why sound cues are so important, chat. You hear that noise, you hear that counter hit, ping! And that means it is your cue to go in there and, and capitalize off an extra juggle point. Oh, nice. The extinct strikes from downtown. Could be it. Yeah, poison. You're getting stepped on, pal. Oh, uh, uh. mm -hmm. Love me. Love that goodbye, Asaka. Wait, no, this is tears. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bad guy. This is tears. I, I know, I know the song. I know the song. I had to think about it for a second. It's been a while. It's a living jukebox, bro. Yeah, had to remember. And now we are just trying to stay alive. Is Dark Angel? Yeah, it looks like Lokov is trying to put that first blood onto him here. Remember, Dark Angel has been unscathed this entire tournament. But it's one mix up away from finally showing signs of being mortal. Wow, that was weird. The second hit of the EX Day Strike pushed her away. It looks like only the first hit is the one that scoops them in. Oh, okay. Oh, he tried to go for the shimmy there, but instead he's going to get blown up by the DP into the super. Yep, EX Paint Can. It's going to hit you with a little bit more of that smoke. Jet Set Radio! <laughs> He's dropping it. I wonder if we're gonna get that announced at the DJs. We'll see. We'll see. we'll see, we'll see. Right now, we'll see DPs all day long because that's what Dark Angel is landing. Oh, but let's the super rip. Hold up. Dark Angel's doing this right now, Rome. Uh, he does it. Let's see. 
Just run. Oh, what? He ran right underneath it. I don't even think he realized that. Archangel looking good. Cracking that armor of Lokov being the first one to do it. Oh, no. Actually, no. I'm lying. It's, it's reversed. So he keeps his uh, win streak alive for now. Good stuff. Absolutely still undefeated so far tonight. What a great comeback there. Yeah, right. Jenkin went right through the hands, and when he realized it, he said, "Oh snap, I'm alive." He said, "Hold up, I'm gonna. I got practice that one for later." <laughs> oh, lands on the fireball. Yep, sent straight to the wall there with the CD. Mm -hmm. Stop short after the uh, CD. I think he had enough time to get a Tatsu. Probably just didn't want to commit. Sometimes you want to play it a little more safe. Just to be careful. Especially in a high profile match like this. It is winner's finals. You don't want to make any mistakes. Wow. Such a big radius on that counter. Yeah, I like that meaty fireball too. Oh, unable to maintain that pressure in the corner though. Dark Angel's so good at just getting out of sticky situations, right? His back is up against the wall. He'll just keep, he, he just punches right at it. He doesn't care. Yep. Speaking of punching right there, finds his opening with the EX Tatsu and he closes it out. Ready? Whoa. Wow, heavy DP, the commitment there. Oh, the Shatter Strike with the big boot. Oh, misses the kick. That was crazy routing, but it's going to get a huge punish there on the whip. Lokov very eager to spend all of his resources just to get Rio out of there. And let's see if that was the right decision because K Dash comes in locked and loaded. The Yamazaki has nothing. He's a broke man right now. He's like me, IRL. <laughs> Spend all the money on Christmas gifts. Worst time of the year, bro. <laughs> it's a clean jump in. Not going to spend too much here. Oh, actually, no. We're willing to spend a lot more than I thought we were. Oh, yeah. Wow, just matching through. Not going to believe that follow-up from k -Dash. Sometimes you got to do that. Show that your opponent, you know, let them know that you know what they're trying to do. Oh, oh a little yeah. too late, a little too early, I should say, to try and get that fireball. Yeah, Dark Angel sensed that he was trying to do that, and he was throwing, like, changing up the timings, you know, mixing up the regular and the EX sign trigger. Pretty good. Whoa, that definitely was an input error from Lokov. Absolutely, but you know what? We got to recuperate here still. Keep it locked down. You're on your last leg here with Denimaru now. Oh, that jump D. Just whipping right over his head. Not the jump D of old. Good challenge. Mark needs to try to go for the hat trick of throws. The Lokov had to scout it. Huge pickup gets the knockdown as well. You don't want to happen. Nice. Yeah. Just a little overextended with that hop, right? I think maybe Dark Angel wanted to just go for a normal short hop, but instead got the full jump. He just flew right on over. Ready? All right. Final round yet again. You still has the the load lightened this time, though. She doesn't have to kill two characters, but that is a bad jump. Oh no! No finish. Uh-oh. Maybe it's low cost time. Looking a little dicey. But still, even in mirror, pretty much even in life as well. What? Cross up jump C? Definitely an accident. Yeah, still not enough though. Uses that meter to get out of the corner. Slow back, takes his turn. Immediately back in the and trade. The trade. Good stuff. And there you go. He finally bleeds. Lokov ties things up 1-1.
Very good from Lokov. That was an interesting interaction, though. He got a cross up jump C, and then Dark Angel blocked it because he wasn't expecting it to cross up. He lost to 2B on the ground. Yeah, just such a weird interaction there. Round one. Hey, look, I see y'all talking about jobbers in the chat, but there's only one jobber we stand, baby. That is the king jobber <laughs> who is here. Okay, okay. Gotta let him know. Yeah, you're talking about Baraka. <laughs> but look at this pressure in the corner. One block string and over half of your guard gauge mm. is gone. Uh -uh. Uh. Massive damage. Okay, just wake up 5C and a cross Whoa. with a DP to the Ryuko Rambo Dark Angel right back in the game. He believed. He believed. He committed to that. Round two. Ryo Sakazaki. Now what a shot. Bars. He said, took your boss down your neck. <laughs> Working his way down the ladder. Usually it's reverse, right? You work your way up to the boss. Oh, he's working his way down the company ladder now, all right? <laughs> the mail room's next. <laughs> Wake from... up, Goosey! Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's a good button. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to do it, but like the gumption. Nice counter hit conversion, though, from low call. Characters are not down. Right. Oh, yep, just a little too high there. Again, too high to actually get it confirmed. Oh, okay. Really good range with that blowback. Just DP's out. When Bro, he's out. His DP's so far per capita have been kind of crazy. They're nuts, bro. Sick return of investment on them things. Oh, oh nice. Guard break. Goodbye, Yamazaki. Did you want to block? I'll give you something to block. Time to bring in Benny Morrow here. Dark Angel trying to get that 2-1 lead over Lokov. Remember, this is three out of five. Mm, front. Wow, just neutral jump C as a wake-up option. And it works because Dark Angel is that type of player. Ooh. Yes, sir. What Take a super to blow up the eye, uh, blow up the fireball, the eye frame. Just such a hard call out, too. Huge there from low cop, letting the super rip again to make sure we can get that EXDP right at the end to get rid of K Dash. And now we are once again at a position where we are in anchor battle. Dark Angel does have a pretty substantial life lead here, though. And we did see this last time. Yup, gotta be careful. Three frame punish on those EXE idol kicks. Gotta watch those spin kicks from Isla. Yeah, with that two bars on deck, a single touch could spell doom here for Lokov, but he slowly is starting to whittle down Dark Angel. That's one bar out of your hair. Two bars the one. Yeah, he really wants the pressure. Still unable to open up Lokov. Both of them just spending their meter completely defensively. Dark Angel able to build up another bar, but I think at this point you're just willing to, willing to go for the shotgun drop kick. That was crazy. He did a roll back and immediate DP. Wow, they're playing so fast right now. Dark Angel with another game. Remember, folks, it's three out of five. It's winner's finals. So Dark Angel needs to win one more match to advance into grand finals. Unbelievable here. But now we're going back to order select for Lokal. I remember what, Yamazaki point? We could see that. Yeah, we very well could see that. I think Betty Mar is 100% staying on anchor. <laughs> Never no. mind. I, what do I know? <laughs> I was thinking it too, because I'm like, I like the way he's been matching up with Isla. But uh, no, there's something else in the cards for Lokov. Sometimes if you want to see your vision, you know, come to fruition, you got to step outside the room and look at it from the outside in. And maybe that's what he's trying to do. Now, I don't know why I just said that, but we're trying out here, folks. 
We get we get philosophical, you know. I feel you. Spiritual, lyrical, philosophical, English. See, I say something smart and immediately not say a proper word. Mm. Yep, there's that punish. A little bit too close for comfort on that fireball. Again, waking up with the 2C. Dark Angel really comfortable doing that. Oh, we Tekken. Hands off. Mm. Oh, right. I got an anyway anyway juggle myself. That's it, right? Yep. Yeah, DP into another DP. The double DPs are so sick. Oh, yeah. Double DPs all around for Yamazaki. And now Benny Maru coming in, and he should be able to easily clean this up. Just has to find a single touch here. Oh, two trades. Okay. Yeah, yeah there, there it is. is. I respect it. Dark Angel sending it. <laughs> Sometimes that DP connects, right? And then it starts the crumbling process. We've seen it happen numerous times. Not like crumbles the body, but the mental as well. Here we go. Huge punish. Archangel throwing out a lot of risky options right now, but I think at this point in the game, you got to be careful. Sure, you have one extra game to give, but you don't want it to come to that game five. Never, never. Especially against this character right here, this player who's going to kill you right now. Bro, he just ran up close to you. Woke I think he was expecting. Mm -hmm. He woke up holding dash. <laughs> he really did, and I think he did that because he was expecting Lokov to go for like a, a probably like a jump normal. So he was trying to cross under him and uh, get a punish, but didn't matter because we're down to Isla. We did see Isla make that reverse OCB in the first game. Not like that, but hold the phone with dropping combos as well. Oh, that was so smart. Blowing up the wake up throw attempt there. Good stuff from Dark Angel. Oof. Hit him with the ah. Got him. Let's see if we can get him this next round, though. Trying to keep this pressure locked down on these. The fact that they're so evenly matched is incredible. But look at how. Just how blistering fast Dark Angel is. Yeah, Lokov's trying to run away. Gotta give some breathing room here to let that build back up. Oh, snipe with the far C. Uh. Oh, look at this pressure from Dark Angel. Nice, finds his groove to get a punish. I like that. Lokov just using the air fireball to just create some more space. I'll just full run throw. Nice! Caught him. Potentially mashing throw. It's gonna hurt. Not gonna be enough to kill, but gonna get a hard knockdown. Dark Angel sitting on potential match point. Oh. Jump back, see for the overhead. Guard, he doesn't have enough meter for a guard cancel. Even now, we get the kill. He just has to fight. No! He committed! But the drop! No. And he just oh. sends it! He sends it! Dark Angel oh. takes it 3 1. That was a tragic drop for Lokov. He had it there. Oh, Lokov. Good. Oh, Lokov busting out the Rock Howard. Ooh, okay. Rock Hinako Iori. That's what I like to see. So we got the top four Hinako on Box deck. You'll see on that team. Yeah. Also, I can't believe this is the first time we're seeing Rock tonight. You haven't seen this character all night. That's true. Very good point. It's either a TNS where it's like every match is Rock or it's no Rock at all. Right? Yeah, especially with how popular Rock has been growing lately. But we're going to see a little less of him for the rest of this set. No, doesn't spend the meter, but just checks with the 2A. Hey, high risk, high reward. Pays off. Oh, yeah, it does. As quickly as we... Hmm? Oh, go ahead. No, I was just quick, quickly as we saw Rocky is gone. But, uh, yeah. Hmm? Ooh, I was going to say that we also haven't seen any Chizuru at all tonight. Yeah. No Tamago. That's probably why, right? Because he yeah. runs both those characters. That is the so. big thing. I did see Cronin earlier, though, at McDonald's for lunch. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, look at that extra cheese, Cronin. Stop playing. But right now, we are getting the Girl Scout getting tossed right now. He said, nah, no Thin Mints. No Hawaii. What is it called? The Hawaiian? I've got the other one. They're really good. Oh, no, oh, bro. 
I, I like the I like the peanut butter chocolate one. That's all I know. Ooh, I like those too. But we don't like this damage to Hinako. Literally two supers back to back toss, and now you have to guess again. Yeah. You guessed wrong. JC on the back of the head there. Oh, Samoa is my bad. Not not Hawaii. This is Samoa. Yeah. Ready? They're good though. I like them. There we go, DP. Just a light DP as well, trying to keep yourself safe as possible. Okay. Oh, what an anti here. That was such a cool decision for SNK to, to change that into an anti here. He's never had that in any other game. So getting more mileage out of his tool set. Oh. What is happening? What's happening? Fireworks show is happening right now. And it ain't over yet. Yashiro's toast. Missed the meaty fireball, but that's okay. We'll still get the 5D. The sweet chin music. Alright, but from one Yashiro into another. Oh. That's it, baby. Curtains for you. Knockout punch. Mm. This is just the start of a new worldwide. Yeah, Thin Mints is like it's it's too good, guys. It's it's so good. I see chat talking about cookies out here. Y'all like mint in your chocolate? Heck yeah. Hey, look, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a responsible adult. You know, I have acquired taste like that. Every once in a while, though, I can't like mint chocolate is not something I like always go to. But you know, every one, every once in a while, we uh, we get that. So let's see, back to character select. I wonder, are we getting rid of Hinako? Possibly, maybe just an order switch. I know Wankoff does have a plethora of characters. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Mm. Goodbye, Hinako. Well, we got to see Hinako cook earlier in the bracket. That's what matters here. But now it's time to lock it down and bring in Isla. Nothing yeah, this, show. this is the last two out of three, right? So you, you, you can't uh, afford to make a mistake. Wankoff doesn't have that extra cushion for another round just in case Hinako didn't work out. So he you know definitely wants to get this over right now. Look, Chad, I feel like mint, mint. chocolate is the yeah. true divider, not pineapple on Ready. pizza, all right? Go. It's the underrated yeah, it, one that no one talks it, about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big timers is right. It's like the right amount. Not too much. Ooh, nice there with the close C. I mean, his C normals are so good, bro. How, how, what, what else can we say about Yashiro's C normals? Every single one of them are absolutely fired. Yeah, he's quite privileged. And I think some of them got some tweaks, right, to make them a little weaker, but they're just that good. Just like that anti-air into the super cancel. To watch this whole movie of you getting tossed around like a bad habit. Oh, you can't roll oh. out of that. Sorry, it's not allowed. Yep. The option select is real. Mm. Out of the corner, just needs to find that one touch, and the close C is going to be it. Damn. And now Rock coming on in again. There's something about this, that, that green on Rock, that I don't like. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing too. I'm like, I, it doesn't look right. Like, I don't think anybody ever picks that color. I'm trying to try to imitate that green and become money like. Right now, Reno is just not allowing him to get anything off, really. Maybe Rock might have been the pick to switch, you know? I think so. I mean, Hinako definitely was working out pretty well. Rock's the one who did get tossed around before by Roshi Yashiro, and it seems to be happening once again. Bro, he just took the corner. Oh, no. Wrong elbow. Maybe heavy, uh, heavy elbow would have connected. Let's see the table to turn now. This is Juan's opportunity here, right, to capitalize. But all these trades, bro, 5B is so good. Such a nuisance of a button. Nice crack counter. That's it. Yeah, Shining up. A decent amount of meter, but you know what? It is worth it to get rid of Orochi Yashiro. Mm -hmm. Stand to a ground. Ready? Go. But like we mentioned last round, one Yashiro into another. It's a never-ending wave. 
this one has the potential to deal more damage, but beautiful reaction there with the DP into the super. Yeah, that was very good. Not going to take a chance on the 2C there. Going to eat a throw instead for his woes. And a counter hit conversion from Reno. <laughs> okay. You just text him, okay? Very long calls last character. Scarface Iori. Let's see what he can do. Oh, DP a little bit too early. We know faked him out by not canceling. There's the maximal confirm. Oh, right into the climax. A raging demon. Mm -hmm. Breaking the glass, man. That's my monitor, dude. I got to get a new one now. Oh, this might be curtains for one. Oh, tries to go for the CD there, the shoulder check, not quite going to work. One color fast, all the meter, but just unable to land anything because oh. Reno's defense just rocks solid. 2C is too strong. Mad respect to the winner. Sledgehammer for the win. There it is. Good stuff to Reno. He will advance into losers finals. I thought trying to give up on me, but I got a losers finals to call. I can't can't just go out like that. Princey Baller, you just heard. We're having our off offline coming up very soon in yeah. March. So make sure to sign up. Make sure to be there. I will be there. It's gonna be a great time. Right now, Yamazaki having a great time with that counter hit conversion into the super poison. Keeping you locked down. You are jailed, sir. Oh, he just did the upstake on a little too early. He actually had the right call, baiting that Reno was going to jump out. Let's see if Reno can capitalize on this last opportunity here, this grace. Mm. That was really good, too. He did run up anti-air throw, so... Definitely had to scout it that Lokov was going to go for a jump or a back dash. Oh, and there it is. 2C. Swipe him right out of the sky to the back of your hand. Mm. Oh, no finish from Reno. Immediately pockets the very first fireball that comes out. Just trying to let him know. Got to start that off early. Ooh, I got that thing on me. Nice. There it is. Bro, he's just staring at him like that. Throws up the parry. With reckless abandon. That low on life. Ooh. Wow. Forcing Reno to spend extra meter in defense. This is good. Yeah, even though he dies just like that, he had to spend an extra bar and a half to kill a what should have been dead Yamazaki. Yeah, absolutely. Very well done. Now sitting at about half health going into Geese. And that actually is going to allow Lokov to get the meter lead too over Reno. Hmm. Nice punish. Yeah, look at that corner carry, bro. When he just hits you with the palms. Geese is uh, there's a very funny meme video of like two Geese players just keep doing palm and like nobody can punish each other. But hold on, we stay in front. And actually, Reno's gonna kill here. Yeah, one hundred percent gonna kill. Hold up, never mind. Oh, no. If we went into super, we would have been able to kill. Or mm -hmm. excuse me, if we used an, any other EX routing, we would have been able to kill. But we wanted to get a little bit of health back, and I respect that. Yeah, what a sick comeback though. This goes to show you, you know. Uh, Hyder's damage output is just really like the, the fact that he's able to combo you into super and then still mount more damage after super is like so unique. Commitment on Lokov to spin meter, but oh, no EXD there for the win, but the EX slasher coming through, paying dividends. What is this song? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. I didn't... Uh-oh. Hold up. I just somehow completely missed that Ash is on the team. He heard your cries. Bumblebee Ash is back. 
see if it works out. He's got the meter. Uh-oh. Sans Follette here. Let's give him Benny Maru all that bar. Better make sure it doesn't drop, sir. Uh, 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 uh. We going for stun? Yeah, we are going for stuns. No, not stun yet. But That's all right. Bird. Still able to close it out. Nice stuff there from Reno taking game number one with a triumphant return to Ash. When, uh, when we needed him, he came back, right? <laughs> Good stuff. Gave my voice a break, too. Oh, yeah. Gotta, gotta keep kayfabe. We never speak during the Sans Collect combos. Never. <laughs> Round one. Ready? Go! Ooh. Disregard for your up slash, sir. Ooh, oh, no. Excellently puts himself into the corner. This is not good. This song sounds like House of the Dead music. Like, I, I'm just like, I want to grab a rail gun and start playing House of the Dead now. Crazy, we might, bro. Yeah, we might be playing <laughs> dead with this Shamazaki, though. I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's it, because of course it is. Yeah, he is out of here. I just played the new House of the Dead a couple weeks ago. There's a new one? Yeah, it's got, it blows, like, air on you and stuff. What? It's pretty tight. <laughs> oh, I gotta check that out. See if they have it at like round one or something. Oh, and Raufa coming through with $70 to the match arena. Thank you so much for the support. Incredible. They extending. What's up? They pimping, I should say. Thank you so much. Raufa looking to spin. Nope, not gonna spend any cash uh, money here. Doesn't even need him. Get the 2D for the close. Good stuff. Uh, stakes just got a lot higher now in this match. Mm. I know Dark Angel see that. He licking his lips right now. Oh, wow. That was so funny how they both missed. Phoenix Fireball going over Hyder and the Moon Slash are too fast to catch the jump. And... Now right into the level two. Pick him up off the ground. Still not enough to get the kill, but we want to squeeze out as much damage as possible. Whoa. Nice. Bro, I saw the guard cancel. My heart dropped. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not the robbery. Not quite yet. Ash is going to be the one who has to rob this win from Lokov's hands. What a guard cancel. Oh, got to be careful, though. You don't want to extend too far into the orb. Ooh. He doesn't have uh, the additional bar, so he can't stand to the light, though. So, Lokov has to be relieved to see that. Still a lot of damage on the field. But down to one bar, immediately gets the parry. Oh, no. And he gets the OTG. Oh. Smart with it. Good stuff. Yep, so tying things up here in our losers finals. Again, remember three out of five the rest of the way through the tournament. You know, Dark Angel is sitting there comfortably just watching this. Trying to pick apart each opponent. Alright, right back into it. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised that we're not seeing any changes now, right? Considering the fact that they each took a game apiece, they probably feel pretty comfortable with the order of their team. Wow, the recovery on that on the uh, command throw. On him up, it's a command throw of his own. Yeah, I got another one, baby. DJ Khaled, another one. Oh no, I thought he was going for it. <laughs> Very good. This is it, actually. Yep. He sends that bar, and he does. Oh, Reno is looking so strong. Not even letting that last defeat get to him. Player two won't give up that easy. 
Stand to a ground. Ready? Mm -mm -mm. Go! Oh man, these just I really love how he's utilizing the parry now just as a solid anti-air tool, right? He's calling out when Reno wants to go for these jump ins because Reno isn't really going for any empty jumps. Yeah, every time he's throwing out a button, he's catching him. But right now, level one super. Oh every time you think you're gonna guess right, you never do. Okay, gets the cross up of his own. So one of the changes in this version of that game was if that hop slash counter hits, the opponent does like a, a ground bounce. I've yet to see that happen in that. <laughs> like everyone either blocks it or they just get hit by a clean. They don't challenge it. Play the way this is evolving, I'm sure we'll see it sooner or later. But now Hyder coming on in. Two and a half bars on deck. Look at that, just challenges and is still able to catch him afterwards. Okay, but now they're starting to move a lot faster here. Wow. Trades, immediately goes for the Shadow Strike. He was trying to take advantage of the squirrely situation there, but Reno staying patient. Wow, good roll. That was like the last second to escape that it cross up. Oh, he said, die, maggot. Oh, my God. I wasn't even thinking about Rashomon. You, you oh. never you never are. Never. No one ever thinks about it. I, I've never seen it with. <laughs> it always hits. Always, man. 100% hit rate. It's like Swift from Pokemon. Coming right over. Huge punish once again down to the anchors. Denimaru up against Ash. Ash sitting on three bars, which means Sans Colette is in the back pocket. He's got it locked, ready, and loaded. He gets that one hit. Go has to be careful of giving him more resources while hitting him. I mean, that's the goal, right? You need to put the hurting on him, but Ash is a character you do not want to give any more meter than he needs. Give him the hurt. I do like low-cost attempt to not be afraid. Uh-oh, until that point. <gasps> he dropped it. Hey, Big I didn't drop. say anything, bro. <laughs> That yeah, one's on all. Reno this time, but still has the opportunity to go for another one here. Gonna build the bar, but still gonna get some significant damage. Yep. Yeah, it has its corner positioning too, which is huge, with an EX available also. Oh, that's tragic. Lokov, you are a Chad. How do you think that? Like, how? why is that your idea to do? Like, my god. Winner. It's too late, Reno. I've already painted myself as the Chad and you as the Soy Jack. <laughs> oh. Damn, you think you think Jobber like uh Professor Xavier that joined into existence? He's like, drop it, drop the combo. Drop the combo, bro. Ah, my mind. <laughs> Here we go, right into the next one. Lokov just needs one more game here to get that run back. Yeah, he definitely wants to meet Dark Angel back on that side. Especially since he was putting up a good fight against him. Yeah, absolutely. He's able to make him bleed, bro, the way he scooped him out of the skies there. Get out of here. Mm. Look, I mean, Reno ain't gonna go down without a fight here. Still dead even. Checking in with the 2A, making sure he doesn't get too fancy running in. I love that they're playing so fast that there hasn't been like any solid combos yet. Just trades, just buttons. Now, oh, but the there it is. Committed to the anti-air grab here and it's gonna end up losing Orochi Yashiro for a kick to the curb. Like the gum on my shoe, bro, get off. This is genuine Italian leather shoes, bro. I don't need you on them. Wow, okay. Interesting option to go into max mode, but 
throw me out some sizable damage. Oh, and there it is. X marks the spot with the cross up. Yeah. Stand to a ground. Ready? Go. Song is jokes, man. Bro, not a, not everything. Mm -hmm. Liberate me from hell is what it makes me think of. <laughs> I was gonna say not everything from Maximum Impact is a hit. <laughs> Patience from low cough, anti-air low, classic KOF stuff. Yeah, a lot of damage coming out as well. Also, just building up some, pr pr excuse me, building up some meter there with some palms. Double Rapukin. I like the idea, but Hydern still had enough time to block that. Recovery on um, Fireball is really good for him. Yeah, just resetting with the jumps there, but getting too greedy gives Lokov the opportunity to roll out of harm's way. I love that idea, but again, none of these Shatter Strikes have really worked against Reno. He Not seems to all. really understand, like, oh god, he seems to understand the pace of the matchup and when Lokov wants to press again. Oh, that was a risky fireball. Another one, but an anti air. Whoa, he rolled back with that Rafuken and still managed to avoid it. That was kind of crazy, but now Reno is down to his anchor. His final opportunity here. It is all up to Ash to bring things back. He's nearly got a full stick of butter, but can he make it to the kitchen? Yeah, let him cook. Someone's got to do it. Lokov looking to avert that, trying to close the kitchen. But it's after hours, bro. Mm. Jump in, spends the EX, puts him right back in. <laughs> he's so optimal. Even when it looks like he's dropping a combo, he's not. And this actually might be a hit. No, I think you close. are. Well, he yep, off work. the ground. Oh. There it is. Here lies the spot. Slams him straight mm. into the dirt. Low comp moves on to grand finals. Dominating play. Showing his prowess with geese and yes and cross. You don't see that often, but yes, you can do that. Build the meter with the Ben in this room. Give me my million dollars. Somebody's going home with a pop bonus tonight. Low call versus Dark Angel. It's grand finals. Oh, we got the proper song too. That nameless theme. Let's go. Jake Prime, you love to hear it. Press them on the way down. Mm. Alright, trying to create that space. I really love how Dark Angel is just backing off here, just trying to force Lokov to inch in and make a mistake. But unfortunately, when you get a little too greedy, you get too predictable. Mm -hmm. I was going to say no 2C anti-air from Lokov, but he does land a 2B anti-air. Still not enough. But the palm will do it. Talk to the hand, says Geese. Hit him with the 90s reference right there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, mid characters on both. Wow, I'm surprised that hit from that range. Yeah. It's the back of his head. Again, punishing him with that. We've seen that so far twice tonight. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Dark Angel folding right now. Folding at the seam. Yeah, he really needs to be careful about that, right? Going for that option when Benny Maru has the meter available because he is getting blown up. Reach for the top. Ready? The man is ready every time. But here comes Isla. EXDP's all ready. So hard to get over that thing. Oh no! He actually would have been able to get a punish if he didn't commit to the drill. Yep. That's for a reset. Wake up, DP. Nice little profile. That was sick. 
Okay, that was get the kill though. Bro. Dude, he no, every time. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid of anything, bro. Every single time. Ready? Go. Alright, well Benny's gonna be a bit more aggressive. We might see defensive tactics from Yamazaki instead. Ooh. Far C. Standard Isla combo. They have absolutely scoring that knockdown immediately, getting the cross up as well. Nasty work here by Dark Angel taking game number one in our grand final. Setting the precedence right there. Even being down to his anchor yet again, bringing it back. <laughs> Look at his zoomer right here. It's going viral, is that what you said? <laughs> this shit's going viral. My notice are blowing up. That's crazy, bro. Uh, Isla, stay off Twitter. Go outside, Isla. Bro, these TikTok Ready? fighters. <laughs> Isla needs to touch grass, all right? She's got four hands. <laughs> Parry. Wow, look at that card cancel with the palm. Oh, okay. Stuffing you from jumping in. Very good. Again, stuff with the palm. He's trying to force Dark Angel to approach more cautiously here, putting out those stop signs. Yeah, you know, you know, it just works. It just hits. Don't question it. It, it just be 2C sometimes, right? Geese has one of the best 2Cs in the game. Oh, yeah. And he's always had that, too. He even pre-patched that button. It was a crazy good button. Hey, you're not jumping in on this guy. Mm. Ooh, easy. Risky DP, but it does pay off for Dark Angel. Got caught on the other side. Getting right over the fireball. Man, this matchup has really not been going well for Dark Angel. The many Maru K Dash matchups specifically. Yeah, he's been finding the right time to just get through all of Dark Angel's stuff, but gonna get his first combo of this game so far. This match, I should say. This character, nice heat drive. Looks like he heard you, bro. He's fighting back. <laughs> Up until that point. Very equal on life. Close to halfway through the round, nice. Anywhere juggle off the minute spike. Uh, far C. <laughs> Gotta be careful here at any moment. <laughs> There's the DP, and immediately gets him with a knee on the dome. He's made a bonk sound effect. <laughs> 2 knee hitting his arc. Dark Angel Ooh. still a pretty healthy Isla, but for how long? I don't think Lokov knew that was going to be a counter hit slash. He definitely would have converted. EXDP again. Yes, there it is. Three frame punish. Bro, he is rolling all over the place trying to zoom, but keeps getting caught at every which way. It just lets the DP rip. Are you kidding me, Dark Angel? Yeah, that, that was definitely like a consolidation right there. He's like, let's just go to the next game. I'm not making this come back. It'll be too hard. Get me out of here. He says, I got a whole set to give. Not yeah, he sweating. does. Not, not that you wanted to go there, right? You definitely don't want to get the bracket reset on you. It's not a good feeling because the momentum is in your opponent's favor. Um, but it is 1-1 right now. Round so, let's see. Ready? Again, just keeping that 
pressure up with the fireballs here and these hop-ins. What a parry, but it's not gonna matter. Still gets blown up. <laughs> oh, that wasn't deep enough for that jump D. Surprise, actually. But it was connected. Lokov, though, doing a good job. Look at the time. Absolutely. Yo, I mean, excuse me, Rio's really good at turning that around, though, with one solid confirm, and here it is. You damn right about that. You gonna spend it? Oh, he is. Blame him. Just take the character. <laughs> what? No, the mini fireball, it doesn't matter. He takes on a throw. What a situation. Back dashes into the low fireball. Funny stuff, man. Ridiculous. Looney Tunes. Literally, I heard I heard the sound effects, man. There we go, straight into the next round. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Okay. And now Benny Maru versus K Dash. This has been the matchup that has really turned the tide for Lokov, really allowed him to gain such a substantial lead. That Benny Morrow is just putting in so much time here. He's buffering DP like every jump. Nice blow up though. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep the pressure. Dark Angel does have a little bit more of a health lead. Again, another DP into a cheat, uh, a heat drive. He's just mashing it at this point. It is working. Neutralize the Benny Morrow, that's where you want to be. Absolutely. Now, or never. now down to this Yamazaki here, Dark Angel, trying to get that 2-1 lead, put himself in prime position to close out this tournament. But again, Yamazaki, oh, about to say, has a ton of meter, still has a ton of meter, but unfortunately lost some of it with that whiff shatter strike. Gonna be able to capitalize here. No. Oh, maybe he wanted that. He just wanted to build a little bit more meter. Possibly. I can't imagine. I had to imagine that wasn't his input, though. Yeah, I was thinking it's like gotta be poison. Yeah, down to your anchor here. You want to squeeze out as much damage as you possibly can. Yeah, you can't. Oh wow! Can't believe that time to, to roll. Yeah, wow! I can't believe the jump in was too high to actually connect. Mm -hmm. Sing that song, girl. You sing it. Alright, when of this will be in charge of the set? Very good. Counter conversion. He takes the corner with this one as well, too. So much damage on deck. Goes for the double jump. Multiple overheads, that's so scary about being locked down in the corner against Isla. Though honestly, I think Isla's a little bit more scary when you're knocked down mid-screen. Oh yeah. Nice, Nick. Got her again on the low. Gonna keep the corner. Whoa, the hop CD hit behind! You know, just Isla things, it's okay. Pay no mind. Oh, a Shadow Strike whip! And there we go, straight into Poison. Lokov takes game number three, is up 2 1. Mm hmm. What a bad judgment call from Dark Angel. Rare. Doesn't really happen like that. But, uh, good, good awareness from Lokov. Took full advantage of the Shadow Strike. Lokov is up 2 1 right now. Select or select. Get Ash on point. I think. Maybe so he can perform oh. a little better. Oh no, Isla! Oh, oh Isla on point. Okay, up against Benny Maru here. So now it's Benny Maru on point too. Yeah, Lokov, he smelt it. He knew that's where Dark Angel was going, and he wanted to meet him. Round one. Ready? Go. <laughs> Lightning! 
Oh man, the range on that, able to score that jump in. Very good. Oh, caught the bad roll, yep. Good stuff right there. Our things are trying to play this real fast. Not trying to give Lokov a second to think about anything. What a confirm there. What a sequence from Dark Angel starting off this next game strong. Man, I cannot help but hum this song, bro. It's so good. Picked up off the ground. Yep. Isla dunked. Dunked her like a... <laughs> He dunked out like Oreos and, and milk. <laughs> Just <laughs> dropped on the head. Great man, let it get soaked up. Just one step ahead with a counter. Counter conversion though on his own right. Yeah, you can't be with it. Iron Trick is in front of a uh, beast, man. That 2D. Such a powerful button. Not only 2D, Palm also, right? It's just, he has so much forward momentum on his move. There he goes, scores that knockdown. Keeping him pressured up in the corner. Bro, look at your guard gauge. Let's the DP rip because he knew Lokov was going to try to do something to avoid the guard break. He baited the counter super as well. Oh, that... Yeah. That was so squirrely. So, so squirrely there. Mm -hmm. He got the jump D. I think he realized how high it was. I was expecting Dark Angel to just kind of mash DP. He tried to blow it, like, you know, bait it out with a roll or something. Roll. Didn't get it. We get the DP that time. Oh, -hoo -hoo! what space in from Dark Angel? Catching the, the uh, landing frames with the minute strike, the, the slide version. That's cool. Oh no, input error. This might be it. Low cough. Alright, stomping the life here out of him. Just tries to go for the DP to chip out, but it's not enough. Great routing from, from Low cough. Oh, Reset point. But this is going to be hard. He doesn't have a whole lot of meter. Yeah, a whole lot of resets, you know, need to happen for that reset point. Meanwhile, <laughs> you can't eat any trade, any anti-air, anything for that. You can't get stagger pressure either. Yep, and there we go. Game five in set one, which might be the final set. It's either the last game or more games, folks. Select order. All right, what's the order swap going to be here? Who's going on point? Isla versus Yamazaki. Yeah, I was thinking Dark Angel is not switching this order at all. He wants to keep the momentum in his favor, and I think it's a good choice. Isla on point. Let her run wild like Hulkamania and, um, you know, take down a character or two if possible. It's true. We'll to see if it's going to pan out. Ready? Oh, his DPs are just so well. Like he knows when you're going to try to challenge him. Yeah, sidekick here. I mean, it, it's definitely when he's cranking that guard gauge, right? He knows you either want to jump to try and escape or you want to try and press a button. You don't want to get guard broken so you have to respond. Mm -hmm. Joyful Reaper, thank you so much for the sub. Just in time for this bracket reset and or uh, tournament point match here. But Isla is going to get sent down with a pretty healthy Yamazaki going into the next round. Ready? 
Volkov looking good. Oh, nice, Stan CD. Big boot. Here we go. Poison on deck. Hate Ash is bleeding. Oh, another input error. He keeps trying to go for a uh, sand kick, but he must be letting leaving his hand on like a uh, down back or something, so he's getting counter instead. Dark Angel starting to. I mean, both of the players here, obviously, you know, the amount of sets that they played so far tonight and just the pressure that is on the line with the money, you definitely see them starting to have cracks in their gameplay. Yeah, the fatigue is definitely setting in. It's been a four-hour bracket, you know, it's been a long time. Nice to see. Yeah, just opted for the corner carry there. Well, didn't get a whole lot of damage. Unfortunate, though, that he immediately gets put into the corner himself and now has to fight his way out here, fighting for his life. All right, run up throw. And coming into this matchup, too, with a health deficit when this has been the hardest one for Dark Angel so far. But he is keeping Lokov locked down. And there yep. it is. Yep. How poetic. Still not able to get the kill. K-Dash alive. Look at put out and the slash. Yeah, Dark Angel did not want to jump at all. Lokov happy to oblige with the slash. And he is on tournament reset right now, but it's staring down the barrel of a, uh, a big barrel chest real Sakazaki. Nice, confirm off the far C. Yeah, spend it. Not going to be enough, but he'll have a fix. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, that's it. And this is it, possibly the end of the tournament. We're either getting a reset or it's ending here. Final game, final round. Let's do it, lots of resources on Geese's end. And how poetic, this is what they started off on point with, right? Rio mm -hmm. versus Geese, and now they end up as the anchors. Dowling back to it. Rizzling Biscuit to, to sing us in, right? <laughs> Oh, trying to go for the run-up throw to get the punish. Not going to quite work out. Again, Geese's superior range here is making it very difficult for Dark Angel to aggress. Lokov just poised right now, hitting every single anti-air button, not giving Dark Angel a chance. And there it is, folks. Bracket reset. Down to game five. I would not be surprised to see another game five going into this reset with the way that this first one went, Rome. Ooh. It could very nope. well happen. No sleep for the wicked here. Yeah, I mean, we don't sleep, right? TNS. Let's see. Are we going to keep the same or keep the same teams? What is going to happen here? see what happens. <laughs> Let's look off waiting to pick a character. He's probably just big chilling. I mean, taking a deep breath, you know, he just reset the bracket very, very close. All the way to game five. So now just letting the clock run down, right? Trying to shake off the nerves. Mm -mm 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 Chat, I hope you guys have been enjoying the matches thus far. We're in our final, final set yet again. Remember, whoever you have bet your points on from the initial grand final set, that is who you will bet, be betting them on in this set. You're not allowed to change. You have to rock with your day one. Absolutely. Nothing will stop this show. Yeah, for those wanting to know, yeah, TNS9 will be in Orlando. We'll be at the Wyndham Resort. If that sounds familiar, that is the venue that has been for CEO Taku and CEOs in the past. It's a great venue. I love it. Had a good time out there a few months ago. All right, starting things off in this grand finals reset here with Benny Morrow up against Rio. Dark Angel already trying to strike back with a vengeance. Oh, 5B. Volkov getting a lot of mileage out of every one of Benny Morrow's tools. Right, be able to hit its mark. Oh, 
every time that Dark Angel rolls backwards to create a little bit of space, he's just put back to square one, which is so unfortunate. Looks like Dark Angel. Oh my god, that could have been it. He got the counter hit. He could have did EX Tatsu. We'll trade. This trade's a nice DP. That was a good, good, good day. Yeah, been able to lock him out. An exciting bout from round Much one. need a win right there. Could have been an insane lead for Dark Angel. I mean, never mind, he still is able to convert it anyway. <laughs> that was a crazy read, yeah. He caught a back, he caught Tatsu off of a back jump. Ooh. All the rolls right into the 2C this time here. Still doing a ton of work, right? Yamazaki is hurt. Heard enough for Kadash to sneak in there. Counter on the other side, but it does work out. Oh, gets him with the low there immediately into the poison arm. Kick straight back. Woo! Okay. Nice bait. Didn't get the right punish, but still landed some hits here. Put it back in the corner. Yes, you are. Oh, oh, oh that was so scrambly, but Dark Angel coming out on top. The whole walk of shame right there from Lokal. So like Yamazaki's whole walk cycle, bro. That's how you know he wasn't blocking. <laughs> he was trying to block, all right, the wrong way. He's immediately shutting down. He's like, look, you didn't see that. Whatever happened, didn't happen. We're going to anchor. Oh, the jump. Yep. Into the palms here. Doesn't have the meter to finish it off. But still in a very solid position to take the first game. Just has to not get touched. Honestly, that's it. Great job blocking the cross-up attempt here. He's looking for a hit. He still has a slide. Try to go for a shadow strike. Good spacing. And the Lokov takes the first game of the reset. Mm. Lokov going in. Incredible. He's still riding that momentum. Yeah, and with that, he's firmly in control of this entire set. He's up one in the loser side, meaning that Dark Angel's the one on the back end, right? Coming into this grand finals, he was on winner's side. He's got to find the answer now. Okay, uppercut. Wow, just caught him pressing anything or just advancing. Yeah, but here we go. Lokov taking that ball and running with it now, Rome. Oh. Immediately just shutting down Dark Angel. That is a full health Betty Maru coming into the next round here. Lokov's getting more momentum. That snowball is building. Going into this matchup that has been so favorable for him throughout this set, too. Much needed, but Dark Angel looking to bring the heat to melt that snowball. Try to keep the momentum out of low cost favor. Look at this guard damage, but just finds a way out with the records. Oh no, another one. Oh, he was sliding in the DMs. But you don't follow him on X, so they're closed. <laughs> it's still Twitter to me, bro. 
I, I, I normally say Twitter too. I don't, I don't know why I busted on X here. <laughs> it's very weird. It, is, it do be late, so I don't know. Oh, but here's the GP into the punish. Benny Maru! Yo, the auto combo for the kill. Low cough is in your head, boy. Reach for the top. Ready? Go! This one might be it, folks. <laughs> yeah, hit by the lane effects. That's crazy. It's a dominating performance here. Oh, I got another cross up, Hop CD. I don't know he's able to get those every time. Look at this, just keeping the pressure up. That guard gauge getting cranked, but Lokov is able to escape here. Oh my god, Lokov oh. fighting the right time to jump every single time. Bro, you know what's crazy? He has not used a single command throw from Benny Morrow this entire set. No, not yet, but he can pull it out at any time. Gets the Does DP it. just acting as that wall. And a Benny OCV Lokov is up 2-0 over Dark Angel in the reset. Bro, I'm I'm dead right now. I'm just like I'm, I'm done. This might be it. Lokov's play right now. Who can stop this man? Dark Angel was down to his last chance. He said, "Sorry if I was too rough, lady. Can I buy you dinner?" <laughs> Are you supposed to ask for dinner first, Benny Morrow? Goddamn. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to speed run this now. He says it's bedtime. <laughs> he said a pop bonus. That's why he took so long to pick his character when they first reset. He's looking at the money. <laughs> he calculated. He's like, right, if and, I do this. I mean, calculating, that's right. He took that moment to breathe here. Now he is just dominating this reset after how close it went up. Again, just being a wall, DPing every single jump and attempt. Except that one. <laughs> but he got the one right after. Sure. He got that one, yeah. We got to keep it in there. Wreck is out. All right, now here we go. Benny Maru put up in the corner. Is able to catch him with that 2B. Not gonna be enough to get that kill though. Still needs to find one more interaction. Wow. Bro, he just commits. He commits to it. Impressive. Alright, so okay. Quick kill. Much needed for Dark Angel. He's got to do it again, and <laughs> Lokov is just on another plateau right now. Again, you can see that confidence. You can tell when a player is just cooking, and everything is coming up perfectly for them. And you just see how they move, how they act. Like right now, he's just, look at this, like, he's playing like in the future, right? Jumping over minute spikes, checking the majority of his anti-airs. Doing funny so hold up. Mm. Oh, whoa, okay. Shield runs right into the 2C. There's the stomp putting Dark Angel into the corner. Oh, he got the counter. Yep, he has to keep him in the corner. He's in chip territory. Bro, he woke up sprinting. <laughs> he put the pedal to the metal. It definitely paid off, though, because he did get the kill. Even though he's still at very, very low health. Mm. Trying to check him though. Let's see if these can bring things back to close it out. There's the DP. Now it's Dark Angel who is the one taking the driver's seat again. Trying to put a stop to Lokov's momentum. Nice blackouts to get away so he doesn't die. Ooh, okay. Dark Angel not giving up though. 
And no, it's looking like he's closer and closer to taking this one, getting a point on the board. And there oh. it is with the super cancel right at the end. What Very good. Dark Angel showing some signs of life. I was laughing at Omi in the chat. He said I was rooting for Roy the Joker. <laughs> Talk about Yamazaki. <laughs> yeah, bro, he is. Select order. He's Joker on gear, bro. <laughs> He's Joker on I Ico Pro. <laughs> Those creatine shakes in the morning. Oh man. <laughs> He's, he's Joker on uh, creatine and, and somas. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, no. All right. Here we go. Dark Angel finally getting a point on the board here. Uh, he was able to stall Lokov's momentum. Lokov was really running wild in those first two games, but let's see if now Dark Angel is finally getting that second win. Mm. Yeah, Geese on point. Look at that big old palm, man. <laughs> Yo, the double chicken breast asparagus diet? He's on a deadlock diet? <laughs> Repla repl replace the asparagus with broccoli and you got me, all right? I could eat that every day. I really could, too, man. That's some good stuff. Trying to get some good stuff out of this geese right now. He does have the health lead. Yeah, gets the back throw. <laughs> Oh, too mm. high up. Yep, Lokov is already ready, mashing on that throw. Oh. Trading on that. Oh, I like it. Okay. Patience from both. Not trying to overcommit. Don't want to overexert anything. And fight and fail for it. Mm -hmm. What a parry, though. Chest out. Shoulders back. Dark Angel is poised. Mm. Oh, that was nice. Very explosive. But this could easily tie back up once again. And there it is. No! Okay, okay, he gets to stop, but it's still not enough to get the kill. Ooh, brother! Jeez. That was a deep cross-up. Okay, good of Barre, yep. Gonna get a decent amount of health back as well for that. Yeah, that button has been like the story of the last two games, just throwing it out there. Did receive that nerf, but still good. Doesn't matter if it's eight frames down instead of six. Ooh. Oh my god, you called it, Jobber. Looks like we might be getting a 3 2 set. We'll have to see here. It's down to the wire. Benny Maru is coming out. And he still has plenty of meter, right, to make this comeback. We've already seen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bro, he was cooking for a minute and that was it, right? <laughs> yeah, that combo building up so much meter as well, allowing him to get two EXs out of it. Here we go, quick max confirm. You're going bonkers, my guy. Absolute bonkers, trying to crack the shell that is Dark Angel. Yeah, and it's just not working. We're getting these stray hits here and there, but nothing substantial. But finally, the Shatter Strike comes through. Too much scaling on this, though. What a combo from Lokov. Yeah, use that. Oh, what a punish, too. Able to actually beat out the 2C, but still his back is up against the wall. And there it is. We're going to game five. Mm -hmm. Ten games. Wow, ten games. Yeah, oh my god, that is ten games. <laughs> this, I think this whole grand final set alone has been like an hour, if not close to it. So I just want to give everyone a quick little stat that all but two of the matches in top eight 
or excuse me, all but three matches in top eight have gone the distance. <laughs> Evenly matched here. <laughs> oh, you killed with sleeping late? We don't sleep, man. It's TNS. I know I might sound tired right now, but it's okay. We'll just never sleep because we got KOF in our veins. This is it now. If you ain't awake yet, you better be for this grand final. Starting things off with Geese and Ryo. Mm. Red versus blue. Halo 2. Do my drink. Wow, that fireball. I thought, I thought he was going to get hit out of it for a minute. Yeah, oh, yeah. Any more juggle, you love to see it. DP. In there. Oh, and blows. Shot a shot. That is tragic. Losing that bar is really unfortunate for Lokov. Not only is Dark Angel's Rio so healthy, full health, that would have been two and a half bars for Benimaru. That was big. Big miss. And this this would be crazy if Dark Angel brings us back, right? We'll, we'll get there when we get there. Let's see. Still got the Rio on point. Yo, low cost DPs. We talk about Dark Angels DPs. Low cost, some of the best. Nice conversion as well. <laughs> walking him down. Try not to jump. Does not want to eat another uppercut. Never mind. Gonna eat it. No time. No time evening the score. Now or never. Ready Still look now. at the meter advantage for Dark Angel here. Lokov has been consistently having to spend meter as he gets it, right? Just to keep up with the damage. Yeah, he just wants to live. Again, wow, this wake up roll. Okay, you got a little desperate. He is, you can see it. He is just trying to get this over with as fast as he can. Down the Yamazaki, the last stand for low call. He's got the resources, but will he be able to land those hits? Oh, unfortunate, committed to the upward snake arm. While Yamazaki does have good anti airs the main problem is that if they're heavily committal, right? So if you guess wrong, you can get blown up. Yeah, pretty badly for a nice stagger into 2C. Keep the corner. The EX overhead, that's the first time we've seen that so far in this grand final set. Jumps right in. Final game, final round. Full health Yamazaki, full health Isla. Mm. Let's do it. Yo, roided, <laughs> roided Joker is out here. But this is Dark Angel's girl right now. Let's see what happens, folks. Down to the wire. It doesn't get any better than this. This is a game game, Rome. For sure. Game 10. Overtime. Double overtime. Oh, you saw he tried to call out. He was able to block the double taco as well. But there we go. Drop kick right into the corner. Let's the guard cancel. Rip. Ooh. Away. Wow, you get to do all that with Isla and you get untouched, man. Some of the most safest specials in the game. I mean, look at this. Lokov really has done nothing so far. I feel like each hit, there we go. Hits its mark. I was going to say each hit was a trade, but finally able to kick her right into the corner. Now Lokov in the driver's seat here, but needs to maintain course. Mmm. Kick it all in his guts. Wow, Barra again. He's going to put her in the corner with stomps. He's out of meter though, and if Dark Angel could score a hit, that's it! No way he lost to input error. No way Lokov fought so hard from the loser side. Reset the bracket, had a commanding lead, and, and this is the way he goes out, Jobber. An input error. We saw some consistent input errors on the side of Lokov with Yamazaki in particular. So for it to come down like that. But, I mean, you can't take anything away from him. You cannot take anything away from Dark Angel as well. With the reactions to recognize the situation and immediately capitalize.